Hi everyone, welcome to Friday Night's Live at the Ben Show. Uh, it's been a good week. We're back with our uh, usual show. Um, and we also have a birthday opening tonight, as well as Mr. McNeish um, rolls over God knows what age he is now. Must be uh, nearly 100 by now. So we will have the birthday song tonight. So you can join in, mute us, whatever you want to do. Um, and enjoy in the celebration of Al's birthday. Uh, we've also got a couple of free prize draws. Well, a couple of free prizes. We've got a £10 UMP gift voucher for um, the winner of Dan Section. Uh, looking at all the work that's been um, shared on the Facebook page and forum. Um, and we've also got a £20 UMP gift voucher to give away just randomly through the night on our live number generator draw. Uh, and some of the very lucky will win that as well. Uh, like I said, we've got Dan looking at your work on the Facebook page and forum that you shared. We've got Al doing questions for the crew. Tim will be doing what everyone's been buying. Yep. As always, if you've got any questions or comments, pop them in the chat. Try and put a question mark in front of them if you can, so we can see them and distinguish them from normal chat. And if we do miss it, just post it again, and uh, we'll get to it as and when we can through the night. So, have you had a good week? Better than a week before, anyway. Yeah, yeah well, that's good. Um, hopefully, we'll have another trouble free evening on here. Um, oh, wow. And yes, it should be plain sailing. It's been doing quite well. It seems to be doing quite well, isn't it? This, uh, it's been faultless, absolutely yep. faultless, really good. good picture, um, I've, I've had no issues at all. I don't think anybody else has really either. No. Um, it has been very good. Um, so, tonight we've got Tim. We got me, we got Sam, we got Al, we got Norm, and Dan is there somewhere. Sadly, no Luke or John. Um, I don't know if we're going to see John again for the Friday issues, to be honest. I think we're going to have to have a chat with John about that and see what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but it's Luke's working, done. sadly, as well. Um, yeah, it's having to work over the weekend. It's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? But I guess you got to do what you got to do. I don't think we could ever find anyone as disgusting as John to replace John. We've got Sam. <laughs> no, that's the smell. I'm thinking the mind. But we've got oh, Dan. For, oh. Actually, no, we've got Dan for the mind. Dan, Sam Dan, for Dan, Daniel's a yeah. Daniel, yeah, definitely. Be yeah. There as a yeah. Prevert. Yeah. And yeah. That's Dan. Is. So, if you're watching, it's had a good week. Um, as I said last week, myself, Sam, and whoever the hell else gets here early in the morning. Uh, we're going to go live on Facebook, so it'll go live on my Paul ISM page, and we'll share it over to ISM as well, just because it's something else to do. We get a few do different viewers, and we get a few of the Aussies and late night Americans on there. So if you're around tomorrow morning, uh, keep an eye on ISM. Uh, we'll do an hour or two, because um, we can share by this. You can't do both, which is a real shame. I wish we could. Mm. Um, I'll have to look into that, but I can't see any way of sharing both from Zoom, and it gives you one or the other. It would be great to be able to share both, uh, but sadly I cannot see. If you have another host within the chat, can the other mm -hmm. host then not show it? Don't think so. Don't know. I know you can, you can have quite a few, you can have multiple hosts, can't you? Mm. I wonder I don't if know. you might be able to do it that way. Mm. Just a thought. Just a thought. There's probably going to be one option per feed. I would have thought. I would have thought. So. I, I imagine. I can't imagine them yet doing that. But yeah, never know. It would be good. I know you can do it on that Steam Yard, but you're going to get six of us in, which at the minute will be fine. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> uh, low. Um, but yeah, it's one of them. <laughs> there you go. So oh, wow. Al's going to open his presents in a bit. Tim, do you want to read some of that chat, and then we'll do Al. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Okay, who's, who's going first or now? Sam. Sam, Sam <laughs> no. a for us. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, Bre Breaker64 was first in there. He was only first because he only typed three, one number and two letters. I would have beaten him. Like, wow. If I didn't have yep. to write like several letters in a row. I, I have got to say, it's probably going to offend people. People who do that on the videos, it is so sad. <laughs> no, nobody cares if you're the first <laughs> comment. Unless you're eight years old, oh. I don't think it presses anyone. It really <laughs> doesn't. The only thing it presses is when you're calling shotgun, and that's about it. Shotgun's great because you get <laughs> yeah. to ride up front. Yeah, that's fine. I always do that myself. Typing first on a video. Yes. 
Moving on. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm there saying evening snot bubbles. We've got oh. Brian Moran. Good evening, guys. Hope everyone is safe and well. Uh, just Thacky. Hi, guys. My Thacky 10. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, Richard's there. Rich, Mr. Richard Bondin. Hi, all. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Hi, Rich. John Stone. Greetings, Slater. The Plastic. Hope you're all well. We move hey, along. Man. Yes, we do. Uh, Tony Naked Models there. Evening, everyone. Jim Clark. Hi, all. Hey, Jim. Hey, there's that normal man. Uh, good evening, fellow sprue fiddlers. Ooh. Uh, Pat's place has got a clapper board. Ooh. Action. Got the clap. <laughs> what? Oh, man. I'll go with the clap. Uh, how's that evening? Oh. Patrick, make, make noise. Easy, easy, bear with me. I'm making noise. Bear with me. Oh, I thought you said there's a funny noise. I was about to say yes, that's Emily. Well, um, Patrick McGeever, evening everyone. Decided to skip on me. Harry Marwick, good evening, fellow modelers. Bonjour. Break of 64s, liking light bulbs. He's had a light bulb moment and he oh. wants some action. Probably because uh, he was first. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think you're going to see any action in here tonight, Breaker. Ian Dalway, hello everyone. Uh, Jeff Light, good evening, guys. Hope and trust. That everyone is keeping safe and well. Yeah. Brian Moran. Oh, sorry, no, Brian Windmill. That's <laughs> silly me. Uh, hi, all. Oh, it's been a long day. John Howe, a very good evening to everyone. Steve Partridge, good evening, everyone. Hope you are you are doing well. I was going to try and do my Alan Partridge impression then. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. I bet. It's <laughs> no, it's not ha-ha. Uh -huh. It's ah-ha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Say you already, Tim. That that type of half, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> foot is best. Uh, RC Models UK, hi all. Oh, shh, damn. Oh, goggle box. Uh, Daryl Masters, good evening, and apolog apologies to Al in advance for the questions. Oh, dear, what's uh -huh. asking? Uh oh. What's <laughs> uh, Adam Parker, evening all. Uh, oh, shh. Yeah, Steve, uh, Steve saying happy birthday, Al. Have a good one. Uh, oh. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Holmes, uh, evening. Oh, I can imagine him wearing a smoking jacket and a pipe. Well, not wearing a pipe, smoking a pipe. Mm. <laughs> Maria <laughs> Brown. Hi, all good wishes from Tenerife. Uh, got some ultimate stuff on its way. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Mark Coombs, good evening, everyone. Hope you have a good weekend. Uh, yeah, hey Mika, hi all. Deals will do nicely, evening all. Uh, Asbo 93, evening everyone. Uh, Eric Graham, hey all. Uh, Ben White, good evening, guys. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> lots of happy birthdays. Uh, Simon Reed, hello, everybody. <laughs> Luke Ward, evening, guys. Michael Baker. Uh, hello, gents. Uh, we'll restream. Uh, not work. Oh, anyway. do, 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 do. Lots more happy birthdays. Um, uh, Daniel's there, Mr. Daniel Blair. Good, good day, guys, and Al. Yeah. Just taking a break from trolling, toiling, toiling. Uh, could be either at my home office computer to see all you. Uh, uh, pleasant faces. Huh? Oh, Ooh, pleasant. Said something else. Mm, pleasant. Oh, pleasant faces. Ah. <laughs> so, see, here's why I couldn't understand it. it obviously, <laughs> it's, it's not doing the right, right thing. Yeah, a bit of evening all. How do you all from Cold Duran? Fifty-seven sixty scale walls. Evening, everyone. Hope you're all well. Hey, Grant. Uh, Z bar 99. Hi, hey there, gentlemen. Hector oh. Colon, uh, greetings from the Windy City. I bet your colon's a bit windy. Um, okay, hello, everybody. Sorry, I, that I, read, I read that earlier. Oh, God. God. <laughs> 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 Uh, Gary Pash is there. Did I miss the singing? No, yes. don't worry, Gary. You're in time. Um, thank you for Paul for fielding all my questions. What? 
Where have, where have you put them, Paul? I don't know. Mm, cool. Uh, Emily. Emily. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Holmes smoking jacket, but no longer any pipes. Uh, Rob B. Hi, gents. Uh, ITWP Sum 2. Morning, all. Anyone Rob. get any it's new? Rob. Rob. That is. is that Rob? Is it cool? And Maria saying, anyone got the new Honda 1000 fireplace? No, I don't know. Right, yeah, <laughs> we'll have them at the end of the month. What a fireplace! Yeah, oh, fireplace. Sorry, no, I didn't see that. I get you one if you want. <laughs> I didn't know Honda were making fireplaces now. I know they'd like to branch out. They'd do planes and things. <laughs> fireplaces. The same all new. I, 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 sus I suspect that Auto Carrots jumped in yeah. and, yes, adjusted it. Mm. Ruined the conversation. Definitely. Yeah. Got it everywhere. Uh, Brian Rand saying, no one mentioned plucking pheasants. No. Uh, Jif Sassane saying, hello. Oh, Tony okay. Davey, yeah. good evening, crew and folks of the Plastics. Yay, plastic. Maria's <laughs> confused about her fire blade. Mm -hmm. uh, and Hector said, for the record, my name, name and is pronounced <laughs> colon. <laughs> oh, <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you know what? Sure. I, I, I am not laughing at the name. It's the fact that he put from the Windy City. That's what got me. <laughs> Hector, that is fantastic. Thank you for correcting us on yep. your name. <sighs> And it's don't done. be sorry, Marie, don't be sorry at all. All right. And Dan's there with uh, a toothpaste moment. Apparently, Mitsubishi makes cars and stereos. <laughs> <laughs> I've, never seen, I've never seen a Mitsubishi stereo in my life, but all right, fair enough. Um, um, no, I have random fact. Hey. Well, if anybody would know Tim, it would be you. Oh, exactly. Maybe, maybe it's house. I'm not into house stereos. Maybe they make house stereos. I remember a youth. I don't think it matters what music you're playing it, Tim, to be honest. <laughs> I remember a youth walked on a job with a Mitsubishi drill, and yeah, he, he yeah, he went and put that away as soon as he walked on a job with it. I've, I've walked up, I've walked onto a job with a Makita. It's quite it, oh there you did, go. Did, did it bite everybody, Tim? It was quite scary, must <laughs> uh, An ankles were torn. Ankles were torn. <laughs> <laughs> Makita. You're an absolute legend. Uh, there's a question there for Al. Al, there's a question of Jeffrey there. We'll answer that later. Okay. If you want to copy and paste it, we'll do it. I need to do some decaling. I also need to film at the same time whilst we're doing this live. I'm going to have to really multitask here. I shouldn't do it really because I said I wouldn't, but I need to. Hey, well, uh -huh. Sorry, what are you doing? I've got to decal the challenger. Yeah. Whilst doing the live feed and yeah. filming overhead for a video. Oh, that's not because a good idea. I always said I wouldn't do because I can't devote. But if I don't do this now, it'll hold me up for another day. Don't want to be held up. No. Nope. It'll be strong wow. ropes. I was going to say, that's some pipes, isn't it, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> overhead crane. Lost country. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, is it? <laughs> You trying to Tim, say something? Tim, you know he's got your address, don't you? <laughs> I know. Is it, why, is this, why is this parcel ticking? <laughs> and I'm not going down that road. I don't. Yeah, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> and he's definitely got my address because I've just put an order in at UMP. So, yeah. I know your address as well. <laughs> yeah, you do, Mr. McCord. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I can buy my time for Telford. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's next year, I'll make a holy show here in front of all those people. Oh, my God. Yeah. You, you yeah. know me well enough. I have zero shame at all. None. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't care if everyone's looking at me thinking, what the hell, as long as you're going bright red, I'll make a holy show here. In front of <laughs> I'll, I'll be completely honest. Dan has seen me do it before, and I do it very well. Oh, well, very well. It doesn't, it doesn't take me much to go bright red, I'll be completely oh, honest. Oh, well, let's see at Telford. Let's see what happens. <laughs> if, if we're going to play big boy games, let's see what happens. <laughs> the problem with you being a bit of a redhead, going red on your face is very, very simple. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Hey. Rather strange conversation. Yeah, it was a bit weird, wasn't it? I'm going to get you, Alfred. 
Fre a lot of uh, casual threatening each other. It's quite yeah. hilarious. I'll get you a towel. I'll get you a towel on you. Well, oh, oh, oh Daryl. Oh, well, well, if Tim finished a crane. Tim, do you need some aloe vera for that comment? Put <laughs> <laughs> some flora. <laughs> so we all caught up. Uh, well, no, there's loads. They've been chatting loads on this. So oh, go on then, carry on. Oh, while you're yeah. doing something busy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very busy. Uh, yeah, Brian said he was testing if I was paying attention. I passed. Oh, honestly, we wonder sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I <wonder> myself. <laughs> Easily distracted. Oh my. Uh, Lee Barlow's there saying hello or hello or hope you're all well. Uh, yeah, I'll save that Gary uh, Jeffrey Holmes one. Uh, Brian said he used to have a Mitsubishi TV. Oh, I used to have some Mitsubishis when I was younger. Uh -huh. uh, my first TV was a Mitsubishi. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Callis, hello gang. I bet hey, Andy. 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 Dan, do you have a Mitsubishi in life? Uh, no. no, he doesn't know it. Oh, it's a yes. pointing dam. Yes, yes. No, yes. What, what is it? By the bag full. Uh, yeah, no yeah. comment. Move along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sprue glue and its Volkswagen make sausages. Thanks for that. Yeah, oh, apparently oh. they make. Apparently, it's actually a very, very popular item over in Europe. I've never seen them myself. I wouldn't mind trying a sausage. <laughs> Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Luke says they might they make nice pens too. I'm not sure who makes nice pens, but thank you there, Luke. Uh, Dan says we believe in you, Paul. Uh, okay. Decha. Thanks. Decha. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a spammer messaging me on my Paul SM page yesterday asking me questions. I knew it was a spammer. I was just replying with Decha. <laughs> and they kept replying back. <laughs> well, it's a short fire way of knowing. Isn't it? They answer you back when you send the message. If you asked me a question, sent the answer deck chair, you'd question it, wouldn't you? You wouldn't just come back with another question and go, oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, oh, Malcolm Plum's there saying evening. Oh, Ryan says sure. he rented his from the co op. Oh, cool. What? Uh, um, like the deck chair. <laughs> um, Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, well, then Daryl Wiles is being rude. Not talking to him anymore. Really? Yeah, problem. Daryl. Daryl. So rude. Our job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian says he, he was poor and he used to live in a car with books. Huh. Oh. Sorry about that. I mean, Wait, there's um, going to be a Scottish person kick in in a minute and go, cardboard? That's posh. <laughs> Wait for it. There is a song about that, but it's very inappropriate. Yeah, yes. let's move on then. Daniel says, if there is all the product placement advertising on Scatter Goods uh, desk paying for <laughs> Zoom fees. Okay. Uh, passive aggressively, how would it? Yeah. Exactly. No, we, we, we definitely can't extort money out of, money out of uh, Dan. He put oh, his yeah. off into you. He's got shares in UMP. He's bought that much yeah. stuff over the years. I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> but I've just spent, and with my discount, I, it's still come to... Uh, discount? Oh, yeah. discount? Oh, no, no I more shoes. Let me, let me text Hannah to cancel those shoes for James. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> no discount. And it's still come to uh, about 65-ish quid. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Coke's at Croke. Daniel Croke. Uh, good evening all. Hope you're all well. Uh, and Zooming along. Yes, we are. Well, we're gonna have a right interesting night with some coke and Mitsubishi. Ban Shanta, uh, banter. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I was thinking coke and Mitsubishi. Um, <laughs> David Ball there, evening all. Hope you're all well. Back from uh, hospital check up on my back. No issue, discs Ooh. have not degraded anymore. Well, that's good news, oh, then, David. Yeah, 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 that's good, good news. news. Yeah, very good news. Oh, there's a question there for Timmy. Well, yeah, or more, more of a statement. Yes, yeah. yeah, I'm still waiting for Tim to finish the swordfish I gave him at Telford. <laughs> <laughs> you finished that, Tim? No, like many, many, many people are waiting. Many, did you, many did you start it? Are waiting. Many people are waiting for many things in life. Not all did of you them start it? They want. No, uh, it was part started already, so it's sort of. Uh, yes, it is started. 
All right. That's a nice bit of philosophy there, Tim. Yeah. Uh, Williams, model garage. Evening all. Hope you're all. Uh, hope you you are all have a great weekend. Yes. Uh, Clark is there. Good e Good e Good even one and all. Cool. Daryl says <laughs> me. Yes, or are you, Daryl? Um, oh, Steve Partridge. Volkswagen sausages will probably have bad emissions. <laughs> no, they'll give you bad emissions the next day. I'm going to say, and what on the yeah. package it says zero emissions. That'll be a fail. Uh, that, that's, <laughs> that's a lie when you have it with eggs. Um, yeah. Uh, Maria Denson's there. Good evening. Hello, honey. Brian Hi. says, that Dan, he's Scottish. I'm not sure what. Sorry, Brian. Why that makes I'll, I'll wait in for Kev, if I'm honest, to chime in that he was poor enough to live in a cardboard box or something. Uh, uh, Leon's there. Um, no, what? I'm not even going to try it. It's just, I'm going to make it sound terrible. Good evening, everybody. Hello. I'm just going to make that sound like a swear word. Um, oh, yeah. That... No, Tim, go back. Try and, yeah, butcher his name, mate. Come on. Verkrajisi. Uh, <laughs> no. Verkrajisi. Yeah. Wow. That's what I'm going with that. That's probably nowhere close to that one. Um, Daniel's from Texan. Um, oh, Stuart's there. Stuart Scan Models. Hi, guys. Been a very challenging week at work and it isn't over yet. Oh, when, when will it be over then, Stuart? You work, I think it'll work in Saturday then. Uh, Jeff Jass says, No, Dan, you're a Martian. <laughs> uh, Steve from Southport, good evening, one and all. Uh, Dan says, I know. A Ape Apex airbrushes? Yes, there is. Yeah. Hi, gorgeous. Thank you, Maria. Hi. Well, hang on. Hang on. There's six other people in here, and she, I definitely know she doesn't mean Norm. I know that. <laughs> if, I'm <reading laughs> if I'm reading the chat, she's saying it's me. Sadly, no, no. sadly, she's talking to Sam. She's talking to yeah. Paul. No, yeah. she's not. She calls you gorgeous. No, Norman calls me gorgeous. She calls me Dick. <laughs> oh, she's talking to me then. Of course she yeah. is. What? Yeah. Hello, Hello, sweetheart. I'm called oh, Dick, aren't I? Two seconds. Oh, you're called Dick. That's right. Geezer, when you're chatting to me, please don't swear on chat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got Yaro T saying good evening. Oh. Oh. Uh, Daryl said, "Yeah, he's only noticed in stock this evening. Still skint till next week. Oh, uh -huh. how many were in stock, Paul? Well, of Apexes. Yeah, 150. Oh, that'll be enough. That that will last that just about that long. Maybe, maybe, possibly. You never know. Uh, there of, there's a lot of people waiting for them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Leon, Leon says it's always nice coming in, coming on here with you guys trying to pronounce my name right. <laughs> you don't get anywhere close though." Oh, yeah, um, nowhere. Yeah, he got the Leon, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Robbie uh, Robbie B, has anyone built the Meng D9R armored bulldozer kit? Any problems? No, it goes together really well. Uh, the one slide probably need to cut the truck length and put something like a pen nib in it to extend it. the cover for that, man? Hey. <laughs> it's in the box upstairs. I can't get it. Uh, yeah, it goes together really well. Um, Stephen said, when the sausages finally drop, does it sound like a golf? Hello. Oh, wait. Back to church. The pattern has gone all over the place. Fish go up. <laughs> Those two things at the back sort of look like they're sticking out from the sides, Paul. <gasps> da, 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 da. Ah, yeah, fire armor. Or oh, this, it is. or so this, from, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 that in your first, yeah, first thing you put in, yeah, fire armor. Oh, okay, if, just from that angle, it looks really, really because you've got all this to go on the sides, yeah, still. yeah, okay, that's yeah, that makes sense. And yes, there you go. We all caught up on chat. Yeah, we're all caught up. Should we do well? <laughs> Damn well. <laughs> Borrow that if you want, Al. Hey. There you go. Anyway. 
the radio. Oh, so many places to take that norm, but away. <laughs> Sam Swift. So, it is Al's birthday on Monday, I believe. Um, it is. Yes, it is. And he's part of our birthday group. So we've all clubbed together as we always do and bought him some gifts. I completely forgot what we bought him. Oh, I've like. not it's, got a clue. It's a surprise to me as Oh, yes, I know yes. one, actually. I've just remembered. Hope you like building cars. Yep. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so yes, we're gonna we're gonna sing Al the birthday song terribly as usual. Oh, goodness. and then Al can open his <laughs> gifts live on air. Oh, so, wow, are we ready, go. boys? Yep. You ready? Yep. Ready. Okay. In three, two, one. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, Al. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, Al. Oh, thank you very much. Well done, Chappies. Oh, we need to record that. <laughs> I, 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 I might need to change the uh, the pants. <laughs> right, go on. Whip go. Him out, whip him out. Okay, well, I've got, I've got. <laughs> See if I can lift this. There we go. Right, let's get into this then. What's well packed? What's well packed? Yes, the uh, uh, <laughs> certainly oh, the definitely not to me. Huh? The tape guns had uh, work, a lot huh? of use. Those boxes look familiar. <laughs> Did you give the liberal sauce. shake when it arrived, Al? No. Oh, you've got to shake every box. Oh no, no, no! I, d- I did, I did manage to. Uh... You don't shake it. Give it a good rattle. <laughs> and there. The and there. And are we all ready for this? Ooh. Ah, can you see what it is yet? Uh, Gas says, is that uh-huh. a big beefy box or is it just a perspective? Uh, perspective. I think no, I know. Well, it's quite just... small. Yeah, out, out. It's, it's, it's pull a this out here box. and let, let gravity do its thing. And Ta-da. look at it. Oh, wow. Ooh. That, that is, well. yes, yeah. So. When, you, when you're starting it out, <sighs> that will really be soon. Hang on a second. Yeah. Should be another one, mate. So there's that little box out the way. Ooh. And then there's a, a, a I'll just shift this out of the way for and there's, a, there's a gigantic time being. box. And we've got another little well, that's a bit small boxy thing here. I'll just have a go at that. Wow though. Wow. Somebody was listening to me at Telford, wasn't they? Maybe. No, we don't pay attention. <laughs> and we have some paper and more card. Oh, look. Ooh. We have the seats and a mask, ejector seats. Oh, nice. Ejector seats. They are for the E on the L. They look just... Oh, lovely. Thank you very, very, very much, chaps. That's uh, super duper. Oh, big smiles, big smiles. That is just Sorry, superb. Thanks. Happy birthday, man. Yeah, happy birthday from all. Have you a good day? Yeah. And I uh, hope you enjoy that build as well, mate. Oh, I'm telling you, yeah, I'm I going to. I mean, you were speaking about that at Telford, weren't we? Yeah. yeah. I guess we dropped the big hint. There was. It gets nothing now. There, there was one up on the on the back for sale, and I said, "If nobody buys that, it's mine." And believe it or not, somebody came across and bought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, cheers, chaps! Thank you very much. Always Excellent. nice. Hope you enjoy building it. Hmm. <laughs> you want it done by next Monday? Yep. <laughs> I'll have the box open by then. <laughs> In fact, that's a box full of plastic, I'll tell you, man. It's a big one. 
It's one of Tammy's older ones, but it should still be good. It's, um, yeah, I believe there are some, not issues, but technical difficulties to overcome. But, uh, wow, look at this. Look at that. That's a monster. Huge. <laughs> Do <laughs> you have a fly out to tell for next year? Well, I'll fly down in it, yeah. Exactly. There's Kev's saying that uh, the ejector seats are to replace my uh, GT Amiga here, the one I'm <laughs> sitting on. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Perfect point. Wrong one. Oh, there we go. That's a GT Amiga there. Yeah, that's a very good one. Nice. Well done, Alan. We get the uh, spotlight off you. Yeah. Um, there we go. See ya. Well done. We've got a break now, have we, Norm? No, we've got David Marzola next month, then we've got a uh, two month break. Okay. And David's not till late, in the, late in the month, so we've got a canny break, yes. Okay, good. November will be here soon enough. The most important date. Yeah, fourteenth especially. Mm, but before that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh what should we do first? Do you reckon Tim? Can can. Okay. Yeah. Can can <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing that skirt again. No, wait, no, four. I was going to say I'll something. I'll let it tell for Dan, sorry. <laughs> I nearly said something very untoward then. We'll quickly, you? We'll quickly move along. You so wouldn't on. do that, Dan. No. <laughs> These aren't the words you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. So no, no, Brian Wilmer's on about your place north and Apex. Please don't forget this time, Paul. Huh? No idea. Hey, close the front door, probably, so don't you have one. Very clear. Hey, shut that front door, please. Tim sounds like Larry Grayson. Shut that door. Look at this book. <laughs> Is it open? Yeah, what a surprise it's open. How can you not walk through a door and then not close it? <laughs> Might be a ghost. Oh, it's, not, it's not. It's an Emily. It's worse. Ah. Ghosts you can't hear. Huh? What exactly? <laughs> Sam, get a proper sandwich, mate. Paper doesn't do you any good. <laughs> oh, I'm taking my anorexia. Bit of roughage for him. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> wow. <Here am> I. <laughs> right. What, what should we do first? Should we do questions? Should we do what we've been buying? Should we do what we've been buying? It's a bit low key, isn't it? A bit low-key. Low yeah, I don't know what got to do with Thor's brother, but either way. It's, uh, <laughs> oh. it's, uh, it's a quite a big thread this week, Timothy. Yeah, it's been, pe people have been spending some money. Oh, I haven't bought anything. Well, not modern related, anyway. I've spent a bunch this week. Well, last week, but this week. Hang on, I didn't put my... Hang on two seconds. I'm finishing putting my pictures on there. Silly me, I thought... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Oh, I wish I'd Tim, Tim, right. turn into oh, Bill Gates God. real quick. <laughs> Wait, what? Do what real quick? Turn into Bill Gates real quick and post. Huh. Burn them fingers on your phone. Silly me. I don't think about anything this week anyway. Not to remember. And I put on the side for you to check, and you forgot. Oh, I can't remember, Brian. Sold hundreds of things, mate. Looks like I have one. Like I'm sure. Then. You not bought anything, Sam? No, I don't think I have. No, I've had nothing, nothing more related this week. I am going to have to. I'm going to have to write a, a worded letter to the Daily Mail to say, Mister McCord <laughs> hasn't bought a thing. Rats. Are you feeling all right, Sam? I did buy something, but again, it's not well related. <laughs> oh, oh, no, move along quickly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't bought any models this week. No, neither have I. But right, nothing so more related that. at all. It's been a bit of a busy hour of the week. I don't know. 
Oh, Keep them gloves for later. Like, yeah. hey, I enjoyed yeah, taking right. it easy this week. I have to catch up all that postage. Yep. Done in the world again. Uh, FYI, if you're watching, there's been a complete UMP um, airbrush. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That'll be the water on my unbelievably hot coffee warmer instantly evaporating. Oh, nice. Oh, it yeah. gets so hot, that thing is... It's I was just thinking they are that little metal, um, yes, paint paint thing and a, a wee tad of water. Well, uh, if you can see it bubbling, it's actually starting to boil. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I have to raise it off with uh cutter sticks. And it's supposed to be just a warmer, it's pouring down, isn't it, Emily? Yeah, it's right. it's peeling. <laughs> right, anyway, let's go through and let's have a look at what everyone's been buying. So we start off with me. I managed to pick up the M35A1 quad gun truck. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Cool. I was quite liking the idea of the King Cobra truck, but it's just too much money. I'm not paying 90 quid for it. So uh, I've, I've managed to pick up this one for £40 pound posted, which I was quite happy about. Really quite a cool bit of uh, armour, that one. And there's some really cool decal schemes for that thing as well. Um, thank you to um, oh jeez, Jason. Sorry, Jason, my brain's gone dead. Jason, <laughs> so, so, Jason helped me out getting it, hold of these kits. Um, they just don't seem to be available. The F100, especially, is is near impossible to find over this side of the world. They're only over in the states. So I'm very happy we managed to pick up that back, that back up again. Uh, and also got the Revel Ford a 29 Model A Roaster 2-in-1 kit. And it's a lovely little kit. You get a, you can do a triple carb engine or you can do a supercharged engine. There's two different types of chassis. You've got the tub on there. Uh, I'm going to try and find some slightly different wheels. So I'm not too fussed on these, uh, on these white walls. I want to get something slightly bigger for the back end on that. Um, also got picked up the uh, the tiffin from Edward. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah, I really do quite like, it. and it's a lovely looking little kit. Yeah, must get one. Yeah. Yeah, John Bellows has got one. Of Is that the thirty second? Yeah. 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 He started building that already. Yeah, it's a it's a lovely looking little kit. I've uh, got a book on the M one one three. It's definitely a vehicle. I want to try and sort of even get the AFE Club one uh, most likely at some point. Yeah, the Zelda one. Very good yeah, luck playing that one. Yeah, very cool. Uh, and my wing nuts order that I that I placed ages ago came through, so I've got some decals and, the myth and an engine set that I needed for one of my kits, and then some photo wedge for the gun truck. Mm. Uh, on to Mr. D Dan Scattergood. He got himself <laughs> some methylated spirits. God, I've not smelt that stuff since camping. Ooh. Um, and um, what? get the mess out of the fridge, uh, yeah, uh, and then also proof of the hole. Who's got an apple? That's what uh, I thought you said. <laughs> uh, you got some any cubic resin, yeah, there's some more, uh, and oh, jeez, all right, she's shouting in God's sake. Don't uh, refer to the new hangout rules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for that, that rule. <laughs> being quiet and... Uh, got, what, how much you spend on that? that and then... Uh, uh, and... That, that particular one was 139 quid, I think. Yes. And... Okay, no. Yep. But that right there saves me having to put on gloves and faff about when I can just get it straight off the build plate, drop it in that, switch the heater on to 60 degrees and then just let it run for 20 minutes and then, yep, throw it straight in the curing box, job done. Dan, what is it, Dan? It's an ultrasonic cleaner. So All you, right. do you put the alcohol in there, yeah? Yes. Well, the methylated spirits, because that's, that's my new uh, go-to. Works very well. So that's full of methylated spirits in there, yeah? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And all really? that does is just wa washes off the... uh the, resin, yeah. The uncured resin, okay. And then you put it in a curing box to finish it, curing it. Yes. So that doesn't damage it at all, in the resin at all then? No, no. no. Cool. All it does, it saves me putting gloves on and putting my hands in chemicals that's quite warm, well, 60 degree warm. <laughs> 
Has um, it got to be? Have, do you have to warm it up then to do that? I hope you can do it cold if you want, but I found warming it up does help. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah. yeah does that something. heat the water too? Yes, it heats everything. It's cold. How much was that, Dan? Uh, one hundred and thirty-nine quid. Holy sweet baby Jesus and the orphans. Yeah. Hey. But if you want to get an ultrasonic cleaner that works, that's what you have to spend. The rest, the other ones just don't. Well, they don't. Can you no, remember? I've got I've got a Maplin one and it works, but it works great on jewelry. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. which is what they really. Can I don't know if you remember seeing the little picture that I had up last week of the little white one. Well, that has sort of died a quick death. Let's say it was. Uh, yeah, I, I used it. I closed the lid. I went indoors. I came out the next day. I went to lift the lid and pulled the lid clean off. <laughs> 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 well done, well done. Yeah. I weren't hand-fisted or anything. It was just, it was being stubborn to open and <laughs> manly hands. Yeah, my hands are bigger than the bloody cleaner, but yeah. So I, I, I threw the boat out, let's say, last weekend. I spent about, I don't know, must have been 350 quid on Oof. various bits and bobs. Yeah. What, all I'm doing is try, I'm, what I'm trying to do is build up a massive collection of cleaning, you know, like isopropyl alcohol and uh, yeah, where it's resin and because that's really expensive. And while I'm earning well through the summer, then yeah, I'm just going to blow a bunch of money, get a big stitch. Essentially, we buy models to make a stash. Well, I'm printing models now, so I need a stash of resin and cleaning stuff. So, yeah, 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 like, yeah right. But every day, my missus works nights, and I think every day this week we've had three parcels per day. Every day this week, and yeah, she weren't. What's me? No, of it. Uh, right uh, on to Daniel Blair. He got himself purchased three new one eight inch scale size uh, twelve bait acrylic display cases. They're quite good. Mm, very nice, Dan. Yeah, nice. Which models are they? Passing to that wall. Yeah, I wonder how it's been fixed. Well, he's grabber. Hey, what? He's grabber. He's grabber. Probably done that. <laughs> Carl Stellini got himself some. Uh, he got himself a, uh, some t-shirts. A one-one scale pig model, eighty-eight millimeter sh uh, shell. Rather call cool, that. Uh, and he got himself a chopper. A roadster, actually. Uh, he got himself a little pedal bike. Oh, Sprinter. Leisure That's bike cool. Sprinter. Sprinter. Oh, okay. Sprinter. Because. Interesting. Got little, every single add-on you could ever get on it as well. I would have say that's that's got pinched outside post stuff. He's wrote all over it, anti that bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just added the last bit on my bike. Oh, someone's nicked it. Um. Uh, got himself another motorbike. The uh, oh. Ducati Panigale. Very nice. Very nice bike. Very nice. Uh, and a Yamaha one tenth scale in Georgia. Oh, wow. Got over there. Oh, oh wow. Very nice. I had an Italijet that looked similar to that, and that was a bag of nails, let's say. And he's uh, had a good week, and he's got his uh, little UMP uh, delivery there. Ooh. Sweet. Very nice. Oh, Tom and Reed got a few bits on the UMP. Great service as always. Lots of lovely bits there. He awesome. uh, got a few more phantoms for the stash. Oh, very cool. <laughs> vampire. The vampire. <laughs> vampire. <sighs> oh, lots more phantoms, yeah. Legs phantoms. Phantom, phantom. phantom. Well, he's, he's called Spook on the, the forum for a reason. Mind you, they are beautiful aircraft. And he's got a big phantom. Always wow, that's big nice. you, re you remember Simon, don't you, Tim? Yeah. yeah. You do? Yeah. His missus made those lifelike dolls. Oh, that was creepy. Every yeah. time we see Simon, I see <laughs> this, you're like, oh, yeah. And then forget who it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Think, think of me as... Oh, we think of you as something that you worry. <laughs> oh. There you Hang on. Can you remember that picture you put up the other day about buying some off for Wish, Paul? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, How Tim, funny was that? Yeah, that was very funny. But and Tim, you know when you type Han Solo, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi into Wish? Yeah. You get Tim. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that bad. 
Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I was going to go for the, uh, the, the priest on fire with Ted, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Tim. Dan yeah, Croaks there. Oh, you don't love me. Um, he's. I don't love you either. Uh, I bought. <laughs> he bought himself the 124 Bing Rats Quattro uh, from Hobbies in Hong Kong. Two months on a boat due to post restrictions. No, I'm not doing that. And the 124 Hella 307 WRC because it was cheap. That's nice. you, you'll you'll well, find he, out why that's wow, cheap. He likes it. He thought that was a wow. I don't know where he is, he's wowing up, you know. Where is he? Oh, he's there he is. Stephanie T. Oh, he's been yeah. wowing his cat. Sounds dodgy. Whoa. Oh. How about yeah, uh, Luke has wanted to put up this picture. Emily. Luke wanted to put up the pictures of his uh, presents he got. He got the T4 Shir uh, Shir No, it's not Shiran, is it? Tiran. Uh, Tiran, Tira. sorry. Tiran. Shira. Shira. Early type with a dozer blade. Nice. That's cool. He got the uh, German Puma. That's very cool. Oh. Nice that one. Uh, he got the uh, Striker with the tow. I think there's a tow missile. Oh, anti tank ATGM missiles at the back. Yeah. So the tow is the earlier version, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, very cool. cool. He got himself an Enigma. Nice. Hopefully, I, I, I hope you crack it. it. Yeah. Uh, oh, he got, he got himself a dirt diggler. Uh oh, move along quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, that's cool, that little dirt diggler. Uh, he got his, his Challenger 2, very cool. Uh, a Canadian uh, Trumps' Husky. I quite like that. Really. Nice, nice, cool thing, a little crane on the other side. Like a crane. This, this is very nice, this one. Uh, the Tiger models next to. Uh, K, oh, K Tas turret. That's like a good Ming, Ming gun on top of that. Like, I like that. It's proper little, little, little and chunky, isn't it? That thing. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and the uh, rifle models M1A2, tough, uh, Abrams Tusk 1, Tusk 2, and a Tusk. Very nice. Uh, Michael Vanderzog. Mm. Uh, new desktop organizer from Hobby Zone. That's a nice lot of little bits there. It's built, spend the time building up. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Challenger got himself another Skyline and another Skyline. Oh, very cool. And he got himself a couple of bikes wow. a YZR M1 and a YZF R1M. Nice I like that uh, Alan Parker got in bagged himself the to me uh, oh. sorry Trump's has one twelve four GT forty. Oh that's cool. Still waiting for that to come back out as well. Uh Rob McCune. Um oh yeah, I'll, I'll see uh, Rob there. Since I switched over to acrylics, I need to fill out my library of paint colours. So I picked up these two Vallejo sets, the basic colour air set and the military colour set. Nice. Very nice. They are great brush paint. And Claire got herself a DBS, Aston Martin. Ooh. Nice. Very good. Nice. Some pink Evo primer. Fine servicer, dust and dirt from 502. Oh, some of those shades. Are these like oils in a pot? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I've never I've not worked out what these are yet. Uh, yeah, expensive, possibly. possibly. Eyeliner. Yeah, yeah quite possibly, <laughs> quite possibly. Uh, and some the mask and putty. Um, oh, the book on the 104. Oh, very nice. And the and the uh, mastering oils book. Oh, that's probably, that's probably good, quite a good one to get hold of as well. And that's us done for that one. Fan dabby dozy. Fan dabby dozy. Uh, I think I need yeah. some coffee. I need some coffee. Are we any chat ready to? I can have a little one. There's a bit in there. Yeah, let me have a little look down. <coughs> uh, Brian Rance's suspenders. 
Nice. Uh, Stuart Waters, 96, says, how are your benches so clean? Because mine's on camera all the time. Yeah. Uh, and um, Norman's only showing you a very small patch of his desk. The rest of the room is chaos. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I deliberately cleaned before this evening, so it was at least a little bit tidy. Mine was always tidy. quite neat, to be honest. Yeah. Norm's yeah. always tidy because he don't build now. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's no painting. It does lots of building and no painting down here, right? He yeah, gets yeah. your biscuit crumb. Yeah. <laughs> Jaffa cakes don't make crumbs, though, do they? Yeah, when you snort no, them. they make Jaffa cakes. <laughs> uh, uh, David Wright, uh, rate Saint uh, evening, slave to the plastic, hoping to make some progress on my River 172. Band Dan Buster's length. I've seen worse. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, Southwest model is there. Oh, okay. Uh, Bar ninety nine saying, "How come Paul posts more video content than the rest of you guys, or am I not looking in the right place?" Nope. You're I, have a very, I have an active channel, so the league I don't. Yeah. You're, you're definitely looking in the right place on YouTube. You just won't see many of us also doing... Um, Hello, Tim's doing Desk London. Oh, that's rubbish. I'll leave it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that was saying, boil the decals, make it into a broth. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Daryl. It got that hot, mate. You could. Yeah. Seriously, that was some serious heat off that. Uh, Adam's there saying, yo, dudes. Hey, Adam. Dan says he likes the back end slightly bigger suits him. Oh, mm. I bet he does. Okay. Is that why the chair got caught? Um, Roger Cox. Mm. Hi, chaps. Has anyone <laughs> built the Tamir uh, TS050 hybrid yet? No. Oh. I had it. It looked like a world of, of masking and Mask. Did you get? Did you get scared to me? Yeah. yeah it was like, <laughs> honestly, I don't mind having a bit of a build, like build and paint as you go along. But oh my good god, you actually needed to build it all to work out where to uh, to uh, to mask and paint it, to then take it all apart to then do it. So yeah, yeah, it, it looks a great kit though. Just it is a bit of you got to pay attention to your masking and your paint. Looks good, but a nightmare. Uh, Harry says, I think Dan has a drinking problem. Cocktails mm. of methan IPA. Yep. Well, I don't think he's got a problem. I think he's just yeah. got the solution. Like yeah, I say, that is the solution. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just just my, saying, in, oh, my insides are very clean. Excellent. <laughs> They're not. Uh, Jeff just has also got a large tub of IPA. Managed to find the one seller who isn't price jacking. Oh. Yep. Yeah, uh, Tony, Tony's, Tony's saying that will turn the man cave into a charcoal burner. No, uh -huh. no, 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 no. Dan monitors that very closely. I have way oh. too much invested in here to to let anything, anything, do anything to it. Uh, rock dodgy. I hate it. it. Says, "Hey guys." Hey. Uh, Astro Cats is it, Dan is the ultrasonic cleaner any good for on your Y fronts? Uh, it's not quite strong enough, I'm afraid. Mm. Ooh. Why the Northern Star Railroad says anyone know? I think uh, why there is no motor in the new Tamir Ford Mustang, or did I miss something in the review? No, sir, uh, because ninety percent of Tamir kits are curbside. Yeah, that's how they are. Yeah, very few are actually. Anyway. Very, very few. So. It's weird, isn't it? Europeans don't seem that bothered about having the engines, but Americans, Canadians always want them. Doesn't it's the most in, least interesting part for me? The engine. Yeah, I'm me. I do like an engine. Strange thing. Yeah, Tammy very rarely gives an engine. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh God, these weren't this difficult to get any of the first time I did them. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, stream. ask the UK saying <laughs> Paddy McGuinness involved in the Lamborghini crash during Top Gear filming. Yeah, spun his uh, spun near Diablo off the road. I'm not surprised. It's like a blue and skateboard that thing when you're That's driving. That's all right. That's all right. We'll just buy another one because we pay for the BBC. Remember? I'll be quite honest though. It's you've got a Diablo, a XJ220, and an F40. Out of all of those, if I'm going to crash one, I'd rather it be the Diablo. Yes. So those other two, wow. An F40 is serious. A Diablos are worth a bit. They ain't worth X, X, uh, F40 or XJ220 prices, though. And you definitely can't get XJ220 parts. <laughs> well, at least Ferrari, if you break your F40, they'll, they can get you bits for it. Um, uh, Robbie B says he's seriously thinking about getting a Challenger. Hey. Uh, Rob, Robbie B is think, seriously thinking about getting the Challenger. Yeah, I do. It's great. I, I nearly made a crappy Canadian joke then. Oh, oh dear. Blue One's there saying hi, everyone. Sky Shark 505, hello from ooh, Fayetteville, NC. NC would be. Ooh. No, not, not. I can't think of one. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Fayetteville. Mm. That's what it sounds. That's what it reads to me. Yeah. Um, Eric Graham, I, I would have been happy to show off my to me a Mustang GT4 that I bought this week, but DPD sent it back to the package or, or originator. Ah, oh, silly DPD. The Dean, you've got enough kits in your stash. It's the one. Uh, the, the DPD uh, sent it back. Though. It must mean nobody was in. Yes. Yeah. I've got a feeling that's come back to us. I think I've seen Eric's parcel with us. Yeah. Sure, well, like six says, when the, when's the UMP Black uh, UMP Primer back in stock? Some of them already are. Some are on back order. Yeah, we've got all the colours. Some of them are only in sixty mil at the minute. We got back ordered on our order, unfortunately. How many Tamir lacquer paint is there for the full set? Um, no idea. A lot. Okay. Hundred and one something. If you, if you go yeah, on the UMP site, you click, you, you click for the full range, it will tell, it'll tell you how many there is there. Brilliant paint. Can you, Emmy, 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 can you go close this door because it's quite annoying? And then close mine. Um, no, Emily, I didn't ask you to say that, did I? So don't. No, then. Uh, uh, Luke War says, good question about wiring with the top studio set. I'm using the set for the YZRM1. Has anyone used a TS upgrade set? If so, when when wiring, how do you shape the wires? I've struggled with them. Okay. Is, it, is it just... Uh, Who's this to? Not to anyone. It's just, it's just to us. So it you're, you're struggling putting the wires on in the from the detail set, yeah. I mean, that's what this means. Is, is he just meaning like the, the very small tube in that looks like wires? Do you think? Well, he's got the top studio set, so it's going to be the dinky little um, dinky little wires there. What you what can do is a bike. Yes. Uh, has he watched my video series? I don't know, Luke. Have you watched Paul's video series? Probably a good idea. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to say go and watch Paul's video series, yep. and you might, you might just see a glimpse. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Quick flash, maybe. Okay. Few partridge. What's, what's the best spar max compressor to get, and where's the best place to buy one, please? I don't think you need anything more than the uh, six ten myself. Yep. Yeah, 610 and air dash craft.net is the best place, good place, best place to buy them from. Yep. yep. Uh, uh, Crayon saying your mind isn't clean, Dan. Hi, all, by the way. Hi, oh, Crayon. Definitely not clean. Definitely not. <laughs> was that Crayon, was it? Yep. Yeah. Crayon should know better. <laughs> this is Dan we're talking about. <laughs> Although I did purge my phone the other day because it was weirdly it was running slow, and then I removed a lot of badness off of it, and it works fine now. 
<laughs> I wonder why. I think I'd even ruin my phone too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Pash, uh, pash, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, Patrick Nessa saying evening or uh, first time a uh, first time Friday night viewer. Oh, well, long Patrick. Oh, 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 Lord Patrick. Welcome to the Mad House. Rob, Robbie, yeah, it was next show two twenty uh, Diablo. The two twenty parts are still made by Ford. Yeah, maybe the engine. I bet you can't buy body parts from Ford. Oh, could you imagine trying to get a wing? <laughs> uh, Andrew Callis, I've got uh, got shot. Oh, I used to live in Carmel. Okay, uh, chatting about where they loads of them chatting about where they live in the US. Uh, watch them filming the Lancaster. Um, uh, let's have to keep going through. Uh, okay. Just sort of lots of chatting to themselves. Apparently, there's 80 for the LPs, apparently. From Rock, Roger, Rock Dodgy says. Oh, nice. yeah, that's possibly just what's it, what we can uh, now. What's been released to us in England yet? Well, there's a bunch. So, Dan, you get long, younger looking every week. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you very much, mate. I feel 80 this week. It's been a, it's been a rough week. Oh, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Day five. Sorry, Al. Sorry. Yeah. Norman, put me in the book. Yeah, Sam's going in the book. <laughs> Again. Hmm. Well, I preempted Tony, so I put him in about 35 times already. <laughs> yeah, just filled a couple of pages while you were at it. <laughs> Seems a bit of time for I wanted. <laughs> You're caught up on chat? Timothy, run away. Yeah, so I, I'll just tell the children that. Yeah. He's silent. <sighs> Uh, Luke's saying that they're all solid wires. They have actual metal wire in them. I've indeed watched them pull. So if if you've got that, you, what your best idea is if you can try and dr drill a small pinhole to where you're going to have to put the wire, uh, that would help you fixing them in the correct place. And then also, bending them to shape, you just got to be very gentle and carefully bend them around. Yeah. I was going to say, do a lot of test fitting. Bendy, 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 bendy before you glue. Don't glue and then bend. <laughs> Bendy, 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 glue. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Sounds so but, wrong when I said it like that now. On reflection. Yeah, Gary, I saw that thing about the F-40. That shell's wrecked, though. That shell's totally burnt, so I don't know what they're going to rebuild on that. They're going to put a fake shell on it and still cost... Yeah, the, the carbon monocoque is... Is pop fire damage that's that's throwaway. We're surprised if there's much left on that car to be used. Most of the heat, heat most, most of the blocks alley, so that would have been affected by heat massively. That would have done it, would have done it any good. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, Eric Graham saying, Yes, Paul, uh, that was mine. The DPD got it to their depot, who cr uh, created it, then sent it back to you guys. So I have no idea. Hmm. Very unusual for DPD to do that. Normally uh, faultless, to be honest. Yeah, I'll, it'll, yeah. It'll get sorted, mate. Uh, Cole Durant saying, Norm, what's that track tool like? Very, very good. Uh, if you build a lot of armor, I re recommend you get one. Uh, it <laughs> saves a lot of time and messing around oh. and handling the tracks all together. Where'd you get it, Norm? Uh... I got it online, Sam, but I can't remember where I got from. It's just a uh, track It was E-models. I'm not sure if it was E-models had them in or... What do you call it? It was about 26 quid posted. That's but awesome. it does all sorts of different tracks. You can extend it, thingy, and it keeps them all in line when you're doing it. So you mm -hmm. just connect one on, just slide it along, connect one on. You can do whatever length you want. 
It just keeps sliding it and it holds all the tracks together instead of them all breaking apart and you're messing around. Especially very good too. Uh, yeah, if you're doing a lot of armor, doing a lot, lot, lot this type of track, I thoroughly recommend you get one. I must purchase one. And like I said, say if I put a bit of tammy tape down and if I want to glue all these and I just put a dab all the way along and just leave it in there for about 10, 15 minutes. And when I slide it back out, it's it's solid. It's not flexing around or nothing. It's all in line. Great bit of kit. Nice one. Mm. Um. Hey, Paul. I, I have, it's, uh, Roger Cox. Hey, Paul. Are you having fun with those tracks as you seem to be struggling with them? Massively. I'm trying to get them in to take a picture of it all before it gets weathered. First time I did it, they went in no bother at all. These are fighting me now. <laughs> Can't get them over the um, idler wheel. And now they've felt a bit on me. Uh, Maria's saying, Paul, when we, when we be getting the Fireblade kit in? The end of the month when it's due out. Yeah, there we go. As soon as it's out, it'll be in. Yeah, literally that's all we've been told. We're, it's, it's quite difficult dealing with some of the suppliers because they're a bit vague sometimes over when stuff's released. So and the problem is, if I say too soon, all I get asked if every week is, when's this back out? When's this out? <laughs> I'd only go on the info I've got. But I was told the end of the month. So I don't know how true that is. Might be Tony's, asking, Tony's asking what he did this time. Everything. Yeah, everything, mate. It's all Tony's fault. Uh, and and yeah. also touching, yeah, probably. You don't have to do anything, Tony, to get into a magic book. What, what's he touching, Timothy? Right. Oh. He, he, I think he's asking if he can be touching. Oh. Mm, not sure. Definitely not with me. Yeah. If, if it's employees, you could get... Let's move along. I think his wife works for him, so mate, he's allowed. He's allowed. Um, what? what? I've no clue. I think it's late in the day for Mr. Timothy Iverts. I could do with some coffee. I think I'm getting tired and that gets bad. Then. Do with a big mug of tea, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, make some coffee. I'll be back in a bit. Or stop. You need some alcohol, Tim. No, no, no. I don't need alcohol. That, no, don't get alcohol. alcohol. That will be making me going <clears throat> like that halfway what through. All we need to do is talk about F1, eh, hey, Tim? Oh, it's, on, it's not nearly on soon. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> It's going to be so yeah. weird. It's going to be That's so weird. weird. <laughs> you know, after the first race, you you you, you do realise that I will make you swear on the first line. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, so they're not. They haven't yet really decided how they're going to start the race. They they're not sure if they're going to be starting from the pits, or they're going to try and do the shortest setup out on the grid they can. But then they're realising mm. they've got to do social distancing. Everyone's got to be social distancing. I'm going. I think, I, I, what my thinking is: Are they going to do a pit stop? That's that's the only place that they're allowed to sort of be close to each other because they've got all their helmets on and their protective gear. In theory, they're quite protected from each other. Only uh, it's only in theory they'd have to wear that on the pit on the the start oh. line. Yes. What, they, they've got to be pretty much masked up, gloved up the whole time. I want to say, a, a pit crew, they, they wear all the other, you know, like from the neck to the hands to yep. the feet, blah, blah, blah. But they don't wear like a balaclava or anything under no. the helmet. helmet. So that, that might, that's going to be a new thing. I think they're going, you're going to see that being worn. Yeah. Um, but it's but then what they were saying is when they're in when they're working on the car, they can't be like working on top of each other. So you know when you see them and they've got a problem and there's five or six of them all in the engine mm -hmm. bay yeah. trying to fix it. No more. Then well, won't be allowed to do that. Ah. It's going to be interesting, and I really, really, really can't wait for it. I've been itching since March. Yep. Well, they're going to have to relax the way. There's a rule that says if the, if the team have to work on a car after midnight they get fined you're going to have to relax that because if there's not as many people working on a car yeah, it's going to take a hell of a lot longer yeah exactly I think, I think some rules are getting relaxed whereas some are getting stronger there was a massive booklet I was listening to the F1 book uh, and it's talking about all the what they are and are not allowed to be doing and it, it sounds 
it's good that they're going to be getting some racing going. The whole medal ceremony is going to be a lot more spaced out. And they're not going to be standing next to each other. See, the thing is, with F1, personally myself, if you went team by team, and then just, I know it's probably a lot, but you could test each other, you know, every member of your team, and then oh, just yeah, stay, really tested. Yeah. Then, you know, then you've got your bubble then, aren't you, around your team. So, you know, like uh, me and lads at work, for instance, we, you know, we work quite closely together. You can't social distance yourself when you're there and another man's, you know what I mean? And, you know, um, so we've got our little bubble. So they should theoretically, you know, mm. spend a week, a fortnight working wherever they're working on the car. And then once you get to a track, if they don't mingle with another team, yeah, they should be fine as far as I'm aware. Yeah, they're yeah, still in a lot of bubble. That should be that should be allowed. The problem is there's so there's so many like you've got to remember is what people that have got to come into that pit are Pirelli and the Brembo brakes have got to come into the pits. Yes. To at least help yeah. out doing stuff like that. Then you've got the then you've got the engine people because it's not always going to be the team and the engine. It's, it's so much overlap with people. Oh, yes. I know. Yeah. It's so people heavy in F1. It's going to be an interesting. Um, it's going to be all interesting want, how they get it working. All I want them to do is work all, all the little bits and bobs out and get racing. That's yeah. racing. I, I want to see if Bottas, <laughs> Bottas is, is sounding like he's going to be uh, up for uh, a really good short challenge. I don't yeah. think. This is going to be like we always notice at the beginning of the season, you get a load of people doing really well. Mid season, you get another load. And at the end of it, you get another load. We're just going to have a very short start of a season, and that's going to be the end. So it's, it's they've got yeah. to, they've got to get it so spot on at the start. The man with the biggest conquers will yeah. win. Yeah. <laughs> it's, going to be a sprint. it's going to be a sprint race from July right through to the end of the season. Yeah, it's just a race. Unless they start adding any more races on, it's going to be quite. It's going to be a very short, uh, short season. Which should be I will, yeah. I will should say be this: Vettel will be nowhere near anything. Oh, he's know. gone. Vettel's gone. Exactly. No, no, he's still there. He's still there. Welcome to international F1, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Vettel's still there, but it, like they're saying, like at the end of the last season, he was quick. He was doing. He was quick. He was outpacing uh, uh, Leclerc, and if he's leaving the team. He's going to have no interest in helping Ferrari and Leclerc. He's nope. got no interest in it at all. So also, he's going to why, be. Why would you leave a top tier team and go backwards? Yeah, I, 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 I wonder what he's going to be doing. I Dan, think you, something Dan will have to put him on his insurance. Yeah. <laughs> but something's happening because the head, the head engineer at Mercedes has left. Yeah. The engine man, the engine man at Mercedes, who's been there for the last seven years, who's made that car what it is, has left. So something, he, something's happening, and uh, we'll see soon. I think. He, interesting. Vettel's going to be taking over from what's his name, Bert. What's his face in uh, pace car? Bert Miner. Uh, yeah. In yeah safety, Bert, oh, oh no, he's brilliant. Yes. I know, he's he's <laughs> he's one of, he's one of the steadiest drivers going because he gets yeah. to hammer an SLS. Yeah. Around a track. And he's got to go 120 because he's got cars up his trumpet behind him, and yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll break, it'll break, check Hamilton. Yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Are we any chat to catch up on, boys? Uh, they've been they do a lot of chatting to themselves as I was going through there. Yeah, question for you, Paul. Oh dear, go on then. What is oh, it? Oh, that, that was it. I'll just wait. Hold on. Do I think Toto's going to go to Aston? I think there's going to be lots of stuff is going to be happening. I, I don't. That's a question I think for me. Not, not next year. I think the year after it's all going to be a big difference. See, where's this question, dude? I'm trying to look in. Roger Cox, I think. Yep. Well, read it. If you can see it, read it out then. Hi, okay. Paul. I've nearly finished my challenge yet, but I'm waiting for some more NATO green as I run out. A, are you using Tamiya lacquer paint? If so, how many pots? Of green did you use? Uh, no, mate. I'm using AKs on this one, and I just about managed to do it with one pot. Ooh. It's a big piece of armor to paint this. Yeah, big piece of armor, and that was including modulating it too. So it was a beastie. A wee beastie. 
That's what she said. What a dish. <laughs> Jeff Light saying, my missus can't wait for the Moto GP and F1 to restart. <laughs> 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 oh, Hannah's in the evening. Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. 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 Looking forward to the MotoGP starting up as well. Who is? Uh, Luke saying there, saying Luke Wall saying he's looking forward to the MotoGP as well. Yeah. It's uh, the only thing with uh, I'm telling you, as you noticed the other day, didn't you, Paul? It's going to be quite expensive to watch. Uh, yeah. Um... If you're doing it right. I think I can do it for 25 quid a month. And yes, I'm fully aware if you have BT internet, you get it for £10. I don't have BT internet. Everyone tells me this every time I mention it. I know. It's, it's, it's great. I've got Virgin, so I'm kind of screwed. Yep. yep. So if I want to watch on BT Sports, it's 25 quid a month. I've got it free at the minute on my phone, but I'll not be paying for it. I just want to see the road race free. on Eurosport. Uh-huh. I, I just, if I'm honest, I want Formula One, uh, a bit of MotoGP, a bit of rallying, and yeah, I don't mind a bit of, you know, like TT and stuff like that, but yeah, that's all I want to watch. I just want to watch some some current racing, that's what I want. Not current racing, I want people racing, not, move along, it's time. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> It'll be good. Get back to a bit of normality. Well, definitely. It'll be a while yet, though. Yeah, wow. Well, man, it'll be at least another year. Although I'm back at work, I still technically don't leave the house when I get home. At weekends, I'd yeah. stay in. Or if I do go out, I sit in the car while the wife does all the, uh, the uh, menial tasks, well, let's say. I have to go out tomorrow, but I'll not be getting out of the car. <laughs> You know, nothing wrong with that. No, and I shall be here with Mr. Bretland in the morning. What? Not that we share a room around him, you know. Stop making threats against them, Sam. <laughs> Norman, book. Uh, I put my name in the book. I'll love. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you get the flapjacks back to your house. <laughs> oh. Boy. Yeah, we've got one down, Norman, sitting here. You did, you, did you? Nice. Oh, I bloody love them, mate. Doesn't take that taste like bacon and eggs, but it's nice. <laughs> In a couple of minutes, chaps. Oh, yeah. Yes, I sh I'm just going to round up a brew. I shall be back in one moment. Dan, can I have sweeteners in mine? Uh, of course you can, Sam. Thank you, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll throw it up garden for you. Yeah, no, mate. I don't want any biscuits. I'm cutting <laughs> back. <laughs> right, why will you not go in there? You're not playing ball here. Bring me Uncle Sam has very angry. I'm about there to start firing. There we go. It requires three hands with two. That's me beat up. <laughs> and the thing is, my camera went off halfway through. Oh no. Yeah. Oh well. Tell you what, that chieftain took a part and a half a paint. Yeah. Busy old tank this thing. That's a nice looking kit, that man. It really is. It is lovely. There we are. I think I'll have to get one of those for the stash. It'll be a while before I build it. I'll tell you. I fancy one of them T15 sound that looks nice, doesn't it? The one I got, yeah, beautiful mate. Plastics, lovely on it. Really well done. That's a big beast as well, isn't it? Oh, it's a monster. 
Paul wasn't joking when he said the box was big. Mm. Sorry. And a good look at that Sheridan, Ryfield Sheridan that I got. Yeah. It looks nice. Looks a nice kit. Uh, where'd everyone go? We're all here. We're all here. Oh, here. Hello. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. No, they all have it. Uh, Patrick, I'm on Sky, mate. I've got Virgin Internet, Sky TV. I can get it. I've got to pay 35 quid a month on Sky. I ain't paying that. I can get it to watch online for uh, 25 a month, so I'll do that. It's a track assembly jig tool, Daryl. For putting tracks together. You ask him what the, the blue tool is on my bench. That thing is a monster. Rich. That kit, that the kit challenge is huge, mate. The challenger. So, I'm trying to figure. I need to. I need to. You have to stick it all together to get weather it properly. I think it's the only way to do it. Really, I have to commit to. Getting underneath everything. Get the camera back on. Yes, Roger. Um, the first time I put them together, when I got the pictures of it in bare plastic, track slid on that, no problem at all. Um, this time they were uh, like, nah, yeah, we ain't it's... going on there this time. I fed them through. It's probably because they got paint on them. There's a little bit of friction there. It sounds low on it. Yeah. And as I was battling and the camera went off, I was like, ah, sorry. So in the in the video, you'll see a little bit of it going on, and then they're on. Now, when you're doing this, as a, tri as a tip, leave sag on the top. You ain't going to see it at all. Once you get them on, wind the sprocket a little bit to tighten the track up, because mm. it'll catch on the, uh, on the idler. And it'll tighten. They're all taut up there and put a bit of slack on the top, which you'll never see in amongst. If you leave there's 80 links there. Ignore what it says in the instructions. If you do 79, I think you'll struggle gluing that last link on. Because you'll see there, I've got an unpainted link I have to leave off to get it together. So what I need to now do, and that's dry, because I've just glued that, is wind that slowly and feed it around so the unpainted ones up here. Mm -hmm. Or it might be easy just to hand paint that, because it's going to get weathered anyway. Um, but yeah, a little bit of care. It's just I need to put the skirt on to weather it all together. Oh, it's going to look odd, isn't it, weathered separately? Yeah, it would. Well, part two of this, I'll be up over the weekend. Well, I've actually watched part one. You have? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you feeling right? Yeah. I have a lot to catch up on. Oh, yeah. Are you working on Norm? Or are you doing tracks? Good tracks, mate. Sorry. Are the, what are the tracks format? Uh, custom. Uh, uh, either, it's, not, it? it's not that Polish one you showed me, the one with a small part count. No, no, that's already got the tracks on. Oh, has it? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, are you one <laughs> You can't remember what he's built the tracks for. But they're, they're the ones for the... 
Hold on. Uh, the Macava. Don't worry about it, Lord. Macava! Macava! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one's full of Azure. Uh, I've got the Pumo. Anyway, I'm doing track, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I've got. Uh, I'm going to fuse your mate. <laughs> I've got tracks in that one with it. I've got real tracks in that one. Uh, this is why I only do one kit at a time. Hold on, I've got uh, their wheels. They're not good. Uh, I've got tracks together there. They're from the Valentine. If I open the box and they tracks in it, that's what they're for. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We'll cross that bridge and we'll come yet, Nor. Trouble is, see, I put everything away when the kids were here at the weekend. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. I normally label everything where I've got, but I didn't. Oh, did I tell you I got a surprise yesterday, Lucy? Yes, you were saying, aye. Aye. Didn't expect that. Miles, cuddles, and giggles. Absolutely. Cool. I got a granddad card for Father's Day. Nice one. Mm. Where's that from? <laughs> <laughs> Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> Dudley. Now, I bet you that's been done before, Sam. Oh, yeah, it has. Somebody yeah. else asked me that, and I thought, oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> My sister, um, she was talking to her friend. Her friend said to her, uh, did you get to see Lucy the other day? And she wasn't thinking. And she turned around and said, who's Lucy? <laughs> and then they just like, <laughs> your niece. <laughs> I like your cap, Al. <laughs> ah, it's the Turkish solo Turk. Ah, oh, that's nifty, man. F-16. Ah. Display. Very nice. Yeah. I probably have, Steve. It's lovely. So, any idea what you're getting on uh, Sunday? No, Monday, your birthday. Monday. Monday. Well, in actual fact, I've already got um, the, uh, the, 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 the Huji, the scanner. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, which is my, my main birthday present. And then two sure. cases two cases of windswept beer arrived today. Mm. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and there, there may well be some more stuff on Monday. We'll... Excellent, man. Oh, like Father's Day on Sunday? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Double that, that, bumper that. weekend, Al. That's just a, a, a mere formality, that, you know. Well, I know what I'm getting. I've been told, so. Well, I told them what I want. Oh no, no, no! I, I just ask for a card. Yeah. Do. I never, I never do. I mean, to me, it's just another day. But yeah, yeah, they yeah. said, yeah. "You, what do you, what do you want for Father's Day?" And of course, it's going to be a couple of cars, but we all know which ones. And <laughs> um, she said, "I said a model." Well, tell me what you want, I'll get it. Okay, and then Sam said the same thing. So, yeah, she has me buying them, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, your bind band's been lifted. <laughs> hey, excellent, because I bought some in the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it was a one thirty second, Tommy. <laughs> F15. No, um, <laughs> it was actually off a off a Nicky's site, so. But I, I, I couldn't pass it up once I'd seen it. But, uh, yeah. So. I haven't been on Nicky's site for a long time. Was that on the auction or off an actual site? No, auction. It was the uh, 48 scale Proctor. Uh, but only because the brother in law's dad flew them. Hmm. Um, so I need a decent Anson 148. Uh, uh, special LB is about the only one you're going to get. Yeah. 
It's not actually too bad. It's got a lovely resonant interior. Okay. Um, how are you, how you getting on the back here? It's finny. Oh, it's finny, dude? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. If I <laughs> reach up very carefully. Well, armpit. Armpit cam. Here we go. Oh, very nice, man. There we are. We'll get some, get some light on it. Ah, yeah. cool. oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually come out quite well. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really pleased with it. To be fair, yeah, it should be. Looks fine though. Very nice. I love the shape of that plane. I really oh, it's do. just it's just a gorgeous yep. aircraft. Beautiful, beautiful aircraft. Gorgeous. So yeah, it's uh, very nice, mate. Well done. Yeah, it's it's come out really well. Pleased. Excellent. Drop it. No. Yeah. I shall just put this back up there. Make taking care to. No, uh, but. Oh, I die. There we go. Whoa. Yes, I have a cut mat and a cut mat. That's right. Big ones are pain to get hold of. Uh, right, what should we do? Should we? Do you reckon ladies? Ladies? What have you been built? Could do, could be down there. Oh, he's waiting to get his brew. That's what I say. I forgot about that. You got where's he gone? It's just where he gets a cup of tea. No, oh, Clifford's he gone to get the tea himself. Well. <laughs> Sorry, usually brings it out to him right enough, yeah. That would be different. Is she not off at work, though? Yeah. Well, what time is it? I should would be away. Friday? I should be away, but I. And she not start at eight? Uh huh. Okay, there you go. So he's away to make it himself. I make a change. Yeah, Daryl, my granddaughter's bought me this little mat for my birthday, so I use that to crawl the big stuff and rather room the big mat. Cool, yeah. I've got a big mat out there. The trouble is, it's about 12 inches too big every way. It's ill. I ordered the wrong one. <laughs> oh. It's out there. I've got four of these, A1. <clears throat> Two down there, two here, um, and that thing out there. Daft. <laughs> I am breeding mats. I've got another, <laughs> two, uh, another two down there and another one over here. <laughs> Mind you, they're covered in paint. Oh, mine aren't. <laughs> it's a whole idea. They've been abused. Yeah, it's lovely. Hmm. Norman, give us a song. And Just don't wag it, dude. Don't sing it, I could do. If you go. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Sam. Sorry about that. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, cap your arm. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not just right then, didn't I? The singing did, you, did you have to make your own tea? I did, mate, yeah. Why is it here? It's, it's, it's bad. It's, it is bad. I know, I know. 
fortunately, I can not. Um, I make a crap cup of tea. The best person to make tea in my house is my missus. Well, that, that's just fact. I'm not allowed to make myself a cup of tea for obvious reasons. <laughs> Under our Irish. <laughs> or Bernie McCord. Mm. <laughs> Bernie. Is it Bernie or Bernie? This, this scalding hot kettle is not very warm. I can put my hand in it. <laughs> yes, but it is when you're dipping your biscuits in the tea, Heather would say, Sam, your fingers are in that tea. What? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why half a packet of biscuits is at the bottom of the cup? Oh, dear. Looks more like a bowl of porridge than a cup of tea. I finger now. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of patches of... Oh, that's just for added flavour. If you stew them for long enough, it tastes nice. They cut the fingernails today with the shears, the foot of wet shears. Did a good job, too. They're great for it. <laughs> I couldn't do those two with them. They're too thick, so I had to grind them down. You had to, you had to use a nine-inch handle to grind it. <laughs> Dumb and dumber, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> My sister calls me Hook. <laughs> right, what should we do? What should we do? Should we do Dan section? We certainly can. Uh, just quickly, Mark, uh, whenever we do a Tammy order next, mate, I'm not sure when that'll be. We're literally uh, struggling g- keeping up with the Tammy stuff. Uh, barrel on this, fantastic, John. Absolutely fantastic. Really good. No, right, so I'm going to hand you over to Dan. And he's going to go through um, all your work shared on the Facebook page and forum. Uh, make a note of your favourite build of the week because you will get a vote at the end. And the build of the most votes will win a UMP £10 voucher. And an email. Um, there we are. That button there is what I need. Uh, Sure. Might be sharing. It is sharing. Cool. Good evening, everybody. We're going to start. Oh, hang on. Did you do the other bits? What other bits? The, the, the what you're winning bit. I yeah. Didn't. I might have missed that bit. Yeah, the ten pound voucher bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's all been done. Cool. Good evening, everybody. We're going to start as always on the forum. And tonight, first out the gate is two kids no sleep, Mr. Scott. <clears throat> and he says he's finished a model. It's a Tamiya Ducati Panigale uh, S1199 from last week. Splash clear Tamiya paint, ultimate primers. Best of the weekend to all. That's beautiful, Scott. He's done well Wait. with Annie. Very that's nice build. Yeah, there. that's that's nice. I like that a lot. I did see a picture. That's beautiful. And yeah. and he also has produced a uh, very entertaining uh, short video on his YouTube channel, and yeah, them panels are uh, removable. Yeah, yeah, oh. the side the side fairings are ma- ma- magnetic. Oh, very really good. Nice. He's done a, a really really nice build of that. Put out some beautiful work, with Scott. Uh, and this is Barry F One fan, uh, yeah. and he's uh, this is for Bifford's uh, Ducati build. Uh, <laughs> SMS SMS uh, yeah, yeah. body bits Alcloud Antimere paint Alcloud clear built out the box with Motor GP test livery. Nice, beautiful work. See I the like real it. bike. The only thing I, like I don't that. like about the real bike with the mirrors, I don't like the mirrors. Yep, the real look, bike. I don't like them. Never have. No, they look they look a bit like a you know a bunny, afterthought, like an afterthought. Yeah, yeah. Quick. Put some mirrors on. We need some yeah. mirrors. To make it, yeah. that, that's a beautiful model. He's done a beautiful bit yeah, of work there. He's done really well with that. Yeah. And he also, well, say, well. he also says, Happy Dad's Day. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Captain Bigelow next. He says, Hello, everyone. Just finished his 30 second trumpeter uh, MiG 29 SMD. Uh, it was a fantastic kit to work with. He used small magnets to attach the pylons so they can be easily removed. All weapons changed. Uh, it was painted using MRP paints for the SMT green grey camo and then neat 502 oils for the weathering. That's, That's beautiful. Huge. Like that. 
That'd be a right beast, wouldn't it? Definitely. That's really cool. Beautiful weather. I like that a lot. I like his ladder, weirdly. Yeah. And that's not a euphemism. I like his ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really nice. <clears throat> that's exceptional. Oh, I love all oh, oh, your ladder. God, look at this. this uh, LW Wales next. Wow. He says he's been continuing with the to me, Yamaha YZR M104. Uh, he's using LP paints and archive metals. He's got the top studio super detail set, and it is testing him. But he's uh, learning on the way. The model factory hero chain set is on, though I uh, had to be taken off once or twice to get right. Hope you have a great week and have a great weekend coming up. Wow. That's cracking, isn't it? Oh, that's, there's a lot going on there, isn't there? Yeah, that's a lot of work there. He's done a beautiful job on that. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's belting that. Looks like he's landing very quickly. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> very quickly. I, no, my, I've attempted one motorbike and then, yeah. <laughs> it's it like the foobar. It went foobar and then when I moved from out of the house into here, yeah, it got misplaced in that wheelie bin thing out there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, look at that. You got the cab done. Uh, this is El Capitan next. He says, work has continued on the 35th scale mirror model CMP truck. Uh, most of it is now assembled and dry fitted here, only the front bumper still to do, for which they inexplicably don't provide the required one millimeter rod. Why? I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking I'll cut uh, the ends off a sewing needle and use that if it's long enough. Fair enough. All right. Cracking job there. You yeah. can see, so you can see the shape of that cab. Yes. Yeah. Is straight. And it's all each, look, those front corners, they are three pieces. You got the frame, and then you got the door, and then you got the back, then you got the roof, then you got the window surrounds. I mean, it's. And then oh, you've got a bin. It's. It couldn't have made this any more difficult if they tried. Well, you say, like, cracking job there, I kept saying. Well done. Apparently. Well, it's not modeling unless it's hard. Well, exactly. Not in that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not in that way. <laughs> it's not driving you. Mine's always, your always hard when I'm modeling. Oh, uh, moving on. Uh, this is Parker next. <laughs> uh, a lot of messing about this week with Tomcat. It's a 48 Academy F14A. Uh, several paint attempts for the underside, several wrong paints used. Uh, accidentally brushed on enamel at one point. Wow. Mm. Then a gloss like grey. Uh, had to walk away for a day or two. Possibly rectified last night. Anyway, progress of some description. Cool. Looking good. Yeah, that's another big beast, isn't it? Yeah, walk, walking boots, good things. Damn. Wait for it. Tim's getting a twitch with the next one. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Oh, it's finished. Uh, it, this right. is Hawk Moon. Uh, this is a Wingnut Wings, the Duelist, Duelist's Felix Stowe. It's an early and Hansa Brandenburg. Uh, nothing to say about these kits, really, as they will be sorely missed by many. As for the kit, uh, both built well. Uh, it left the nose. I left the nose to wing ring on the Felix off as the uh, aircraft will be going into display with a removal out of wings uh, to store somewhere safe. Tamir LPs, along with Tamir, Bil Tamir Vallejo acrylics used on the build, along with some liquid watercolours and weathering pens. Very nice. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. Good oh, really the building. That's great to get to see the Felix Stone built up. Well done. Yep. Definitely. Tim will never build it. Just saying. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all lies. Uh, this is Tomcat64 next. He says, evening, young Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Drop off the four pack on your way out. <laughs> uh, he says, this week he's finished off his Italieri 172nd Opel from 1974. Uh, it went together reasonably well considering its age and it was primed in ultimate black, followed by a couple of coats of Vallejo model air dark yellow uh, with the cargo picked out by brushing various shades of field grey and wood. Uh, basic weathering has been done with Tamiya panel line washes, AK chipping pencils and ultimate light dirt 
Uh, he knows Tim wasn't happy about the way the cargo had been loaded, but the usual lads were on their tea break. So he's safe. <laughs> <laughs> cool. He's done a belting job. Nice nice he's done a belting job yeah. with that. That looks really well. Uh, F27 packs next. He says, good evening, happy modelers. This evening is uh, another Revell 1144 Airbus A320, this time in the livery of ex-French airline Air Inter. As before, the white is to me a pure white, and the grey zone is is his hello is is he hello? It's Airbus grey, and he made it. Uh, okay. There are so, several metallic finishes, all decanted to me a rattle cans, and the decals are by 8S. I'd love to many aircraft he's done. I'm gonna Good say boy. seriously. A lot. It does, it does such a cracking job on everyone. I want to say that's a belt to that one there. Isn't it? Them decals really stand out, don't they? Yeah, mm. that's really cool. Very nice. I like it a lot. Page two. Two. Uh, oh, Mr. Oh. One. Oh. Uh, this is Angry Owl with his Airfix 172nd Buccaneer S2C done. Ultimate Grey Primer, MRP uh, 114 Extra Dark Sea Grey. You built it out of the box. Thanks for looking. Ow. Yay. That's I do like that. I've got to say yeah. that's nice. lovely. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's seriously cracking, man. I, I think you're definitely getting the hang of this uh, model in Malarkey. Yeah, you'll, you'll get there. You'll get there, Dan. Yeah. Oh, get yeah, nice one, bud. Real nice. In a bit. Oh, and hot off the press. I didn't even have time to write anything. Oh, <laughs> look, look, I posted that. Hang on, hang on. Shouldn't be allowed then. Shouldn't be allowed. Uh, the phone doesn't get locked. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my uh, my right field challenger too. All painted up now. Uh, ready for weather? That's stunning. I've got, to, I've got to say that green looks good. It's not the best angle for it because I couldn't get it without my photo booth. I'll get some better pics tomorrow. I do like that green. It's a it's a yeah. lovely shade. You can't, you can't you can see it on the side skirt or have modulated well, it and highlighted. Say, it. Yeah, it yeah. yeah, but it is, it's, like, it. it's like they're all over, which yeah. they get lost in the weathering anyway. So always overdo your weathering because you will lose some of it. Yes, definitely. Very nice, man. Very very nice. Nice, nice. I like. I like, but nice. <laughs> and that be the oh. forum. We'll quickly slide into face ache. Wow, Can that was done? quicker than a crack of a finger. Oh, I, I, this is just, it's just like the olden days, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Like what you I, want, need to, I need to move that little screen. I need to move that little screen just there. Thank you. Uh, this is Joe Yellow next. Uh, he says, Tanks. Uh, this is Trumpster's <laughs> 135th and Tamir's KV1. Oh, the suspension. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, cool. yeah, not in my wheelhouse. Let's say it's a, bit of a it's decent size. That. Oh, this is Mr. David Gilmore. He must be not gigging at the minute. He's got a go. Yeah. Uh, he, he's got to me as one thirty fifth uh, Brady uh, Gamma Goat ready for primer. E, what a go! I've got good. to say, I've got to say that I quite like it. It's unusual. Yeah. Looks straight. Different. Definitely different. I wonder if he's any good on a guitar. Do you mean for going shopping? Or I wonder if he's putting Ooh. a brick in the wall. Nobody's getting my really good job. I get them, mate. I get them. It's not funny. Yeah. I know. Thank <laughs> you. Sorry. Uh, this is Mr. Mark Atkinson next. Got the time for this. He says he's finally finished his bell kits, Escort Mark 1. He's built it to replicate Paul Walker's car in the Fast Six movie. God, I nearly said oh. something so wrong then. Uh, he's painted it in zero paints, colour for this conversion with hobby design decals from Hero Boy, finished with Pro Rage 2K, a mixture of Tamiya LPs and acrylics used throughout. He's used some spare Recaro seats, finished in zero paints, textured paint too. Happy with it overall. Have a great show. Mm. Very cool. Nice wheels, tires. I mean, tires. You've got to, you've got to love a Mark One, haven't you? Oh, a classic one. Or a Mark Two uh, Estate. Mm. No, what you need is a Mark Two Mexico. That's what you need. Mm. No, Mark Mark Two Estate for carrying the hang glider. 
<laughs> that tells me that's that's what Mr. Al. Hang on, that's March to a state. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. did you have one? Mark to escort a state. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, they did. <laughs> I'm going to say you won't see none now because they've all rotted away. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we, we all had them. We all had them. I think a man had a brown one. Ooh, yeah, mine was, was stinking. Uh, this is Mr. or Mrs. Cranmer Morgan. Oh, they did as well. I've never seen that before. I'm going to say a Dragon M10. Okay. Sweet. I like the weathering. I like the mm -hmm. water drips and what starts in M10. It's a panther in disguise. Well, it, apparently it says it's a dragon M10, Timothy. Did you, were you not listening? Oh, I'm listening, but I'm seeing something different. Well, I can only read what the man's wrote. Uh, this is Mr. Norman King next. He says he's been working on a 3D printed 1 400th scale Soviet N1 rocket using a Creelty LD002R resin printer. Uh, the downloaded 3D file had many errors that caused print failures and it was lacking in detail. So learning as he goes. He's been correcting the errors and adding missing details. So far he's printed two prototypes to test, scale slash additions, and also to verify printing support placements. But well, the final version is still being worked on in 3D Builder. So far it's been a steep learning curve, oh yeah. And to learn 3D software and printing techniques, but seeing what can be achieved makes it very worthwhile. Ah. Definitely. Now, here's a question for you Go about on. resin resin printing. You see this uh, anything that's left over from the pen, say the base. Can you use that again? Say that again, Sam. You know the way when you 3D print something, there's a big plug of a base on it. Yeah. Can you reuse that base? No. You just bend it. Where, where is a, an FDM printer? You can buy a. It's like a shredder, let's say, and you put yeah. it through a screwdriver that warms it up, and you can, you know, all you, or let's call it a mistake print or a fail print with the FDM. Uh -huh. You can reuse all that stuff if you put the time and effort in. Whereas yeah. the resin, you fill a bin essentially, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is a shame. But I think in the next. I don't know, five years, there may be some kind of technology where you can grind it down, add some jollop to it to make a slop and, you know, to Reuse make it, it really awesome yeah. again. It's just... I just wonder if I... I'm sure there's a, there's a decent bit of waste in the bottom, I'm sure. At the minute, I'm trying to print an earthworm, Jim, and I've tried to print his body three times, and three oh, times God. I've ended up with a melted welly because... Wow. Hey, <laughs> hey, earthworm Jim was a melted welly. What are you on about? <laughs> Come on. It's, it's going to be quite a big one. And yes, mm -hmm. it, it's it's all down to the orientation and knowing what you're doing. And I don't know either. <laughs> I will succeed nearly, maybe. Uh, Mr. Charles Stanhope is next. He says he's continuing with the Revell 30 second scale F18E. He's finished the ejector seat with Edward. Uh, set and painted the main body with model air Vallejo light ghost gray and medium gray is making this model has been a trip away finally going in the right direction but terrified about putting the landing gear on PS Paul on a side note will the UMP polishing system pardon me uh, will use it on his car model is making excellent Thanks, Sean. support local businesses local modelers uh -huh. uh, this is Mr. Chris Stover next. He says he's finished this trumpeter 124 scale uh, JUH7 D5 Stuka. Painted with MIG paint. First time using MIG. It is a it is missing the left tail swastika as the decal fell apart. The decals are weak point of this kit. Yeah, but so if you don't take a picture of that particular side, then it's fine. Yep. But that's uh, I like that. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Huge. Good well, who's it? Oh, that's, that's, it's, that's just a small table. And what it sounds like, they have just upscaled the 132 version, so all those problems with getting that weird wing join and that gap, fighting that gap, exactly the same problem. 
Well, why would they retool something, Timothy, when they can just make it bigger? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's it's still only, bigger. Only idiots would spend millions on retooling, <clears throat> wouldn't they? Mm. Yeah. Well, not, not quite middle of millions, but you know. Uh, Mr. Daniel Blair next. Uh, the 124 scale 1965 Chevy Stepside pickup with ski boat. Uh, the ski boat is pretty much done. Spray in to me a primer grey. The flat black base uh, for the model Master Emerald Turquoise colour shift paint. Uh, then cleared uh, and just some aftermarket decals for the pinstripes and the dash cluster. The interior is to me a white and metallic sand rattle can. Uh, the truck is primed into me a grey and then rattle can into me a racing green. Still have a bit to go yet. Everyone have a wonderful Friday. Very yeah. nice, Dan. Dan will be out in his grabber. Yeah. yeah. Grabbing things. Yeah. Could you imagine skiing behind that thing, that into that? Has anybody can anybody remember the film The Great Outdoors with Dan Aykroyd? Yes. 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 Yeah. That's that speedboat there reminds me of that particular yeah, yeah. a belting film. A belting yeah. film. There's some nice work. Uh, Mr. Patrick Kennedy next. I love this. This one. Oh, wow. Cool. For yeah. a Revell kit as well, it's turned out, turned out nice again. Uh, Pat says he's just finished a nice, easy Revell 125th 1980 Chevy uh, Aero Vet. It's a mid engine concept. That is cool. Uh, he's finished it into me a TS83 metallic silver over TS14 gloss black. Uh, the chrome wheels are done with to me a TS79 semi-gloss clear. The kit was simple and had very good fit. Hmm. Very cool. Oh, that is super cool, man. Apparently they originally planned a four rotor Wankel rotary engine. <laughs> uh, this one has a Chevy 400 CI V8 mounted on the old Tornado Eldorado front wheel drive transaxle. And Why the double in gullwing style. I've got to say that it, that looks a wicked looking car. Mm. Like it? Captain Scarlet's car, doesn't it? That's not unlike it. I do like that. I like that a lot. I come up behind you in the motorway, you'd sing it on the road, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. Oh, I like this one as well. This is Mr. Charles Stellini next. Oh, cool. Uh, he says he's recently finished the Heller 1.8 scale Yamaha TY125. He's really enjoyed this kit, primed in AK black based primer and painted using AK extreme metals, aluminium and chrome. All the white parts are painted with Tamiya X2 and sealed with aqua gloss clear. Again, a really enjoyable kit. Can I remember those? Nice. Yeah, that's that's really nice. yeah that, that looks good. This is going to be a hard one this week again, boys. Yeah, it's hard every week, Sam. <laughs> oh, and the modeling, yeah. Uh, Mr. Just <laughs> Mr. Justin Porter is next. Uh, he's finished this Revell 125th scale. Tony Nancy, uh, 22 junior drags to build this week. It's a box stock build done from the 2012 reissue of the kit, which dates back to 63. Wow. Wow. That's really nice, isn't it? Well, I like that. So I like different. In if, those days, those boys were brave, weren't they? The drag oh, racers back then. Yeah. Well, you, if that went upside down or, you know, inside out, yeah. rolly, 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 yeah, you're yeah. just in for a world of hurt. Or a very good funeral. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> uh, Mr. Stuart Avery. He's got a bit handy with the old keys there, hasn't he? Oh. <laughs> uh, this is Stuart's Wessex. Oh they use your MP Black Primer, then use uh, uh, is, um, uh, uh, a base coat of Tamir AS28 Medium Grey, straight from the can. Um, and then he's straight. He's sprayed a few other bits and then he's used some. Yeah. I, think, I think that is, it's good giving info. That, that, that's a touch too much. Yeah. For us to read. Um, I'd prefer scale and uh, model make. Yeah, make scale and very quick brief what you've done. Um, uh, but it looks good, Rich. Uh, yep. 
Stuart. Yeah, nice start, Stuart. He says, happy modelling, everyone, and have a great week. He's, we he's, he's used a three dozen Tamiya paints of varying X and XFs and yes, the yes. possibly. And it looks really good. Good and stuff. It's well, a Windsor and Newton. On the other side of it. And he's used some soundproofing somewhere. Oh dear. I no like one, it, Stu. No one likes the hidden, no one likes the hidden screen. <laughs> I like it, Stu. I just, uh, words fail me sometimes. Sorry. Uh, this is Rudy G Adams next. <laughs> God, that name always makes me chuckle. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for being 12. And Rudy can say, <laughs> he's away, he's away. Uh, he he's gone. Uh, Behave, behave. Uh, Rudy Gasset. <laughs> <laughs> Still going to get past it. Mr. Adams says, evening, <laughs> evening all took a little departure from aircraft with this 48 scale Hasigawi, helping you out, Dan. Uh, Voyager spacecraft. Uh, for someone with limited experience with photo etch, this has been a nightmare, but his persevering, his biggest concern uh, is the two long pieces in the front. That need to be joined and then twisted 120 degrees. Wish him luck. Happy modeling to all and all a good night. You're a braver you know man than me. You know what? You will you, you'll be surprised when you put your mind to it that you've never mm. done something before. You'll be surprised how quick you either put something in the bin <laughs> or yep. stand on it, or it goes completely right the first time and you fluked it. Well, mm. yeah. don't rub that would be a good, good. Solid piece of advice there. Take your time. Definitely. And don't ever change your name, because that's the best name ever. <laughs> Looks like my brother. Hey. Well, don't. I was just drinking a brew then, Sam. Uh, this is Mr. Edward Leonard next. He says, hello, fellow modelers and plastic addicts. I know this is called what you're working on this week, but under this, these circumstances, I don't have that privilege. Only what is completed lately. So he has two to choose from. Uh, and he doesn't care if he wins anything, so uh, take him out if necessary. My rifle's in shop. Uh, here is his games workshop. Uh, Dan Cold, Trogoth, tro 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 hand painted with Citadel paints. Please be safe and enjoy basically for content. Hello from Florida. Hand painted? Wow. Well, cool. No wrong with that. That is stunning, isn't it? For a hand painting, definitely. Unbelievable. Yeah, I like that a lot. He's done yeah. really, really well with that. Yeah. Lovely. Beautiful Please. detail. Edward, post some more, son. Yeah. You, you fill your boots next week. Absolutely. But remember, uh, it's, it's, one one post. Post. It's, yeah, only, really. it's only one post in a small description. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Timothy Ivats. Who is? You, you. is. Oh. Uh, he, uh, he says, oh, maybe. He says, they says. <laughs> With all the rust added to the T-34 hull, he needed to start paying attention to the wheels. He's used a rasp file to chill up the rubber parts, then to me a thin glue over them. Now they're ready for paint and weathering. After that, make a plinth for it to sit on. Uh, you can see it's tracks buried in sand and very left alone. And it's a rye field. 135th, T-34, 132, SPG. And pardon me. That looks brilliant, Tom. Huh? Yeah, that looks yeah. good, mate. Really yeah. nice weather in there, mate. You nailed that rust. Absolutely. Yeah. Cracking Doing attention to detail. Nice and one. I like, and I like what you've done with the rubber wheels with the rasp file. I did see the conversation the other day on uh, um, on ISM. Oh. And yes, Stop. I think, yeah, you've done really well there, mate. You've kicked its ass. Uh, this is Mr. Dan Croak next. He says he's been working on the 124th scale Heller Peugeot 205 T16 Evo. Oh. It's an awful kit. Currently mm. tweaking what he can to make it look respectable if possible. Uh. It is a bad, bad kit. I think, just by looking at that picture right there, I think he's going to do a really good job on it. Mm -hmm. it, it might fight him and bite him and, you know, make him jump up. Air. But I think he'll win. Um, good start, for a good start. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Uh, this is Mr. Michael Benjamin Mitchell next. He says he's did more, done more, assembly on the carriage for the 35th scale Dragon Pack 40. Uh, trail arms installed and putted. 
funds of fiddly bits added, including the spade bits at the end of the trails. Uh, he has the reflector light installed on the armor and the backside putted up to. Put to use this Vallejo plastic putty since it's easy to put pardon me, onto even the tightest of spaces. Oh, so many places that. Oh, dear. And you can smooth it with uh, in just like cork with your fingers. Mm. Very good. I use a, a moistened cotton bud if I have to use that god awful plastic putty. Yeah. It shrinks like buggery. Mm hmm. I do have some, but only for emergencies. Ooh, this is Mr. Luke Carswell next. Oh, wow. A black rifle modeling fame. He says, not had much bent time this week, but he's been plugging away at the 35th scale to me, Challenger 2, desertized. He started the weathering process now and hopes to have it finished in a week or so. Happy Friday and happy modeling. That's that beautiful, Luke. Really yeah, nice. Yep, yeah. yeah, doing really well. Look all right when he's finished painting it. <laughs> <laughs> Modulating it and thingy in it. And... Uh, Mr. John Stone next. He says, greetings slaves to the plastic. This week we see progress being made on the Trumpeter 35th scale Russian Brem 1. Uh, wheels on metal tracks painted and on and masked. Uh, much more to be done. Many thanks for looking. We model on. Very nice nice. banana man. You know we posted yeah. that seven hours ago, and I guarantee you that's <laughs> painted, finished. It finished. Finished. Yeah. Weathered, finished. It'll be painted and weathered and nearly finished. Oh, I like this one as well. This is Mr. Justin Hart. Oh, wow. He says he's all wrapped up on the Tamiya 24 scale 4 GT. He's used UMP Grey Primer. Zero Paints McLaren Purple Pearl. To me, an LP48 sparkling silver stripes. To me, a pearl clear. Zero paints diamond 2K clear. Hobby design detail upset. Scale motorsport 120th carbon fiber. Scratch built radiators in the buttresses. Who were with some soda can aluminium. It's been a fun build and have a great weekend. I like that. Beautiful work. I like it's, that. It's definitely, it's definitely, definitely gone to town on that one. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, really? It's a slow. Good colour. Good colour. Mr. Dan Edmonds is next. He says, hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. Now, this week he's been working on the interior for his 24th scale Fujimi Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. He's still got the dashboard and doors to do. He also got the hobby design uh, Novatech wheels painted into me LP40 metallic black. Have a great show and hope you're all well. I like them wheels. Yeah, nice. Hope there's a big set of discs to go behind those oh, rips. I imagine Must it is. in a massive caliber. Going to be. That'll Ooh. look so cool. It's a lovely looking wheel, and I think when yep. it when it gets near that red body in background, oh my oh, god. Yeah. That's gonna be stunning, isn't it? Yep, that's gonna be awesome. That's beautiful. That. It's, it's amazing how good a quality build he knocked out for a wine drinker, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dan, I couldn't help it. I ain't had a dig at him about drinking rosé for a week. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, oh, this is Clinton Eels, or Chunk to his mates, or another C word. He says, this week he's finished the 135th scale AFB Club uh, tracked cargo carrier. He's primed in UMP grey primer, painted in Tamiya olive drab and semi-gloss black. He's weathered it with Tamiya powders. Finished off with a coat of Tester's dull coat, all through his trusty UMP apex. Thanks for having a look. Stay safe. Cheers. G'day, Cobber. Much crack and chunk. Yeah, it looks bang on that. Bang yep. on. Very I like, uh, yeah, I like that, that. Yeah, absolutely. That's just spot on, isn't it? Yeah, the canvas looks banging. Yeah. Yep. The nice boy's work. done good. Nice. Nice one, bud. Oh, I like this one as well. This is Mr. Simon Shorey. Uh, Whip to me a Porsche 959 and Ravel Dodge Viper, both in 24 scale. Viper is is used half a Dutch primer. Issues with the body is zero pink primer, zero Rosso Corsa and 2K. And Porsche is UMP gloss back primer. To me, LP gloss, aluminium. And zero two K and have a great night all. 
Yeah, you've done a beautiful job in that Viper, mate, with stripes. I know what happened with you. Stripes are hard to do, especially when, yeah. you know, like when it's like a body, a bonnet, and then a bumper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so hard to do. Yeah, because the uh, stripe peeled on them when we took the last bit of tape off. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, had, didn't they? Yeah. Cut it all back again, start again. Done a beautiful job. No, it's done yeah. a really I saw the Porsche today after you 2 k it and the picture doesn't do it justice. No, I'm going to say, from, from this picture here, I'm guessing that is a stunning, stunning looking one. Oh, that is. Seriously, crack and shine on Inter Interesting perspective as well, with both of them being 24 yes. scale. Yep. Oh, I like this one as well. Oh. Oh. Then there's Alan Parker next. This is his, to me, a 112 scale Ducati 916. It's your first bike build completed. Pretty happy with the results. He's used UMP primers, to me, LP paints, gravity 2K clear, sprayed through his trusty UMP Apex airbrush, and he's polished it with UMP polishers. Remember, people, oh. UMPretail.com. He wasn't going to put that in tonight, you know? Yeah, no, well, but I mean, yes, he didn't think that for a, for a first bike build. Yeah, that's where the market build that ended up in bin. I wish yeah. my first bike build turned out like that. Oh. That's built in. You build a bike like that. <laughs> well, wow. Fast work. Yep. Oh, Mr. Ian Dalfway, I hope you're well. Oof. His, his Italieri Scania R400. <laughs> we'll start. <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot of trailer. Yes, that were a lot of words to try and fudge up. Uh, this is Ian, Mr. Pindalfweight, <sighs> <laughs> and this is his Italieri Scania R400 Streamline and Logging Trailer. Uh, he says he's managed to throw some paint at it this week. Uh, the trailer chassis is AWJ Forest Green with flat aluminium tread plate. Uh, crane still in primer and tractor unit chassis is semi-gloss black. That's funny. Yeah, finished. Um, and weirdly, the uh, the uh, uh, lorry firm that he does a lot of commission work for, uh, I seen one of their lorries driving down our, motor, our section of motorway a uh, fortnight ago, and it were yeah, quite good looking lorries to be fair. Obviously, we, we 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 ripped past them probably yeah. twice there being three times as fast, but. <laughs> <laughs> You just know he's going to knock that out of the park. Oh, that's, that's going to look so good. So yeah. good. Yeah. Especially when he's got some wood on it. Yep. <laughs> Dad. He's away, he's away, he's away. Uh, I, tried, I tried saying it without chuckling. I waited for Tim. You know where you were going. Uh, <laughs> moving on, moving on. Uh, this is Mr. Stephen McKay next. And this okay. is a Academy 172nd P51C Redtail. Uh, he says it went together nicely. The yellow striped decals were not so nice. Uh, would have rather painted them on in hindsight. Uh, used a stainless steel uh, plastic coat rattle can. Uh, it gave him a nice finish, but dulled to a grey when clear coated. Not sure why. Would welcome any feedback if anybody knows why, as he's not that experienced, as you can tell. Thank you. Hmm. As you can tell. Too much. Yeah. It's all right to me. Doesn't keep going. Thing. You're doing well. Yep. 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 The reason it probably grayed out is you put too much on. Yeah. When you put in a dull coat, you only need to just put the slightest of coats just to it's not it's not something you spray on, it's just you just dust it over. That looks really nice. Very nice I, personally myself, I think he's done really good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. All you've got to say is it's had three years of service because they don't stay shiny, 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 really, do they? Let's face it. No. Only really showbirds that have had, you know, 10 million quid pumped into them for a full nut and bolt restoration look shiny, shiny, and that's because they polish them to death. Mm. Uh, this is Mr. Richard A. Clements next. He says he's got a start on his Tamiya 124th Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. He's got the tubular frame assembled with engine. He's painted it using UMP black primer and various to me acrylic paints. Ooh, nice. Good. I've got to say, he's got a wicked piece of uh, desk organization going on right there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Very nice organisation. Uh, this is Mr. Stuart Walters next. I quite like this one, weirdly, for a tiger. Mm -hmm. uh, this is his, to me, a 35th scale Tiger 1. It's finally finished, and his first scale model. Uh, it, resin upgrade and enable barrel. Scratch-built base from pallet wood with 3D printed letters for the text. Nice. I'm absolutely nice. loving this hobby. T3485 next. These learned so much from this build. Most important lesson has been confidence to just do it. Yep. Nice. Wow. I like first that. As well. For his first for his first build, yeah, that's belting. That's nice. Very good. But it's it's also down to the uh, products that he's using, and I've got to say the thinners is second to none. Yep. Nice. I, I, the, uh, I like the. I like it. All right, all right, all right there, Mumbles. Sorry. <laughs> Mumbles. Thinking like that. It's not... Mumbles Iverts kicked in there, didn't he? Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Sounds like you had forty pine. Anywho, this is Mr. Mark Coombs. He says he's finally finished the Tamir twenty-four scale VW nineteen sixty-six Beetle. It was primed in UMP white primer and painted in to me at LP37 and LP2. It was clear coated with Mr. Color GX100. It went together very well and he's pleased with the final result. So should I? I'd be delighted if I produce that. Yep. That's a Beautiful. belter. Don't like Beatles. I also don't like old Porsches that are Beatles. Can't stand Beatles, minis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, something. Awful things. Well and the last one of the evening is Mr. Kurt Mulder. Mm. This, is a <laughs> this, is, is, this is Fox's distant cousin. Oh. Uh, this is his Bandai 72nd A Wing fighter. He's painted it with Tamir Insignia White and Dull Red. Uh, weathering was done with Tamir Weathering Kit set B and C. Nice. I like that. It's good, Kurt. <laughs> Yeah, really yeah, nicely well. Right. You, you now get the duration of Dan recapping the work to cast your vote. So pick your one favorite build of the night. Try and remember the builder's name if you can on the subject of the helpers. And the builder with the most votes will win a £10 UP gift voucher. As simple as that. Coolio. When you ready, boys, who, who's saying start number uh, pick? And then I'll do it. I'll do it. You're put in there, I'm going to start getting ready to write it down. Yeah, I'll do the start voting. Sure. Okay, uh, Norm. Uh, we no, we don't have a timer. Sorry, no, no timer. Yeah, I forgot. Norm, stand down, mate. <laughs> it's all right, I'll do the counting. <laughs> I, I'm ready be... when whoever is ready is ready. You're ready, Dan, in three, two, one, go. Cool. Uh, <laughs> we have Two Kids No Sleep with his Tamir Ducati Panigale uh, 1199. We have Barry F1 fan with his Ducati. I'm guessing it's a special one because it says Ducati. I don't know. Uh, Captain Bigelow with his 32nd scale trumpeter, MiG-29. We have LW Wales uh, with his Tamiya Yamaha YZR M104. I like that one a lot. Uh, El Capitan with a 35th scale mirror model CMP truck. We have Parker with a uh, 48 scale Academy F14A. We have Hawk Moon with a Wing of Winds Duelist Felix Stowe and Hansa Brandenburg. We have Tomcat 64 with his Italieri 72nd scale Opal Blitz from 74. We have F27 packs with a Revel 1144 Airbus A320. Quickly go to page two. We have Mr. One Mac with his Airfix 72nd scale Buccaneer S2C. Where's your Buccaneers? Uh, badly photographed. <laughs> and we have a green thing from Paul. Mm -hmm. It's a Ryfields. It's, it's a tank. Challenge it. It's a tank. <laughs> awesome. Very quality builds tonight. Uh, we have Mr. Joe Yellow with a Trumpeter 35th scale Tamir. Uh, KB1. 
We have David Gilmore with a Tamiya 35th scale uh, goat. I like that one, weirdly. Mr. Mark Atkinson with his Bell Kits Escort Mark One replica of, of a film. Uh, Cram Morgan with a Dragon M10. Mr. Norman King with his 3D printed loveliness. It's a 1/400th Soviet N1 rocket using a very good resin printer. I've been looking at them weirdly. Uh -huh. I need to stop. Uh, oh. Mr. Charles Stanhope with his Ravel 32nd scale F18E. Uh, Mr. Chris Stover with his uh, Trumpeter 124 scale ju 87 d 5 Stuka. Mr. Daniel Blair with a 24 scale Chevy Stepside pickup and a ski boat. Mr. Patrick Kennedy with a Ravel 125th scale Chevy Aero Vet. I like that a lot. Mr. Charles Stellini with his Heller 18th scale Yamaha TY125. Mr. Justin Porter, a Ravel 25th scale uh, uh, Tony Nancy Dragster. We have Mr. Stuart Avery with his Wessex and his War and Peace. Uh, Ruddy. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rudiger Adams uh, with his. 48 scale Hasegawi Voyager spacecraft. Uh, Mr. Edward Leonard with his ooh, uh, it's a Games Workshop Dankold Trogoth in tiny braille scale. I'm guessing it's that 40k stuff. Very expensive if it were 40k. Uh, Mr. Mr. Timothy Ivats with his T34. Uh, uh, 122 from Rye Fields in 35th scale. We have Mr. Dan Croke with his 24th scale Hella Peugeot 205. Mr. Michael Benjamin Mitchell with his 35th scale Dragon Pack 40. Uh, Mr. Luke Carswell with his 35th scale Tamiya Challenger. Uh, Mr. John Stone with his Trump to 35th scale Russian Brem 1. Mr. Justin Hart with his Tamiya 24 scale Ford GT. Uh, Mr. Dan Edmonds with his 124 scale Fujimi Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Uh, Mr. Clinton Eels with his 135th scale AFB Club tracked cargo carrier. Mr. Simon Shorey with a Tamiya Porsche 959 and a Ravel Dodge Viper, both in 24th scale. Mr. Alan Parker with a Tamiya 112 scale Ducati 916. Mr. Ian Douthwaite with a Italieri Scania R4, R400 Streamline and Logging Trailer. Uh, Mr. Stephen McKay with his Academy 72nd scale P51C Redtail. Uh, Mr. Richard A. Clements with his Tamiya 24 scale Mercedes Benz 300 SL. Mr. Stuart Walters with his Tamiya 35th scale Tiger 1. Mr. Mark Coombs with his Tamiya 24 scale VW 1990, 1996, 1966 Beetle. And Mr. Kurt Mulder with a Bandai 72nd scale A-Wing fighter. And as Dan has finished, you can stop voting now, please. Um, put me down for Scott, uh, Two Kids No Sleep, see Cathy. Okay. Put me down for Mr. Patrick Kennedy and his uh, Chevy Aero Vet. The vet, yeah. Uh, put me down for Stewart's Tiger One. The first kit was rather impressive. Yeah. Paul? Um, it's got to be Scott for me. No two kids won't sleep. Cool. Anyone else? I, I'm going to go for. Um... Alan Parker's Ducati because stunning build first off. No, oh, yep, good, good call out, good call. Okay, right. Well, in a joint third, we've got Stuart's Tiger One. Ooh. And Mark's Mark One Ford Escort. Oh, 
Another good piece. Yeah. Second place got Owls um, Buccaneer. Oh, well, good man. Out front is Scott and his Ducati. Oh, nice. Well nice. done, guys. Well done. Very well done, Scott. Yeah, well done, everyone. And David Ozzy. Lovely. Oh, I could crush it. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Scott, yeah, get your email over to me, bud, and I'll sort you out that voucher. Hey, Saf, what you make? Well done. So, we've still got another giveaway to do. And we've got our section today, haven't we? Oh. We got any chat to catch up on? I think it's just. Any old votes. Just a little bit of chit chat, isn't it? System at Capu, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to go that far back and figure out what's going on? Uh, Roger, you go to Facebook and put it on Dan's post on there. That's it, really, mate. Yep. Oh, would you like to do your section now? I, I can do. So. Right. Um, well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Daryl Masters questions for the crew. <laughs> <laughs> With a guest appearance by Dan Croak and one in the chat from uh, Jeff Holmes. So anyway, <laughs> first question is to the crew is, what's your oldest tool on the bench that you own and still use as a regular intensive, utensil? Mm. Wow, that's a that's a good question. P.S. Uh, Dan, keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be this scalpel. I've had for virtually twenty years now. Wow. I still mm. use it every single day. It's the same blade because you don't do much modelling. <laughs> yeah, same blade. I just <laughs> <use it. laughs> so yeah, that's about a twenty year old. I've got other tools. Tools you regularly got. use. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's... Other tools that I've made myself, but they're probably a little bit older. But that's probably the one I use the most. I've probably got a load of old ones, just what I use regularly. I've got a reamer there I've had for years. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's about it, really. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What are you, Dan? Um... Dan, Tim, Sam. Um, uh, for me, I think it's scalpel again. My, I've got, I've still got the original smear hobby design knife, which I had while I was giving to my dad, given to me by my dad when I was a kid. It's still Ooh. the same hand, still exactly the same handle. Now, how old? Broken, how old? Uh, that is probably <clears throat> twenty-five years old at least. See, most of everything in here... 27 years old. Is It's not really that old. See, if I, if something breaks, I'll just replace it. And then when I move from the house into here, because it was a specific area for me to model, I sort of replaced a lot of things. So most of my things in here are brand spanking new. So it's not... Probably the oldest thing in here is me. Um, um, it sounds a cliche, but it is. In fact, no, the oldest thing I'm using technically is my surround sound that's plugged into my Mac. Yeah. Uh, pair of decal tweezers for me. I got I bought them when I started back in the modeling six years ago. That's about the oldest thing. I, I bent mine not to replace them. <laughs> <They're laughs> I was sticking it in though. <laughs> yeah. Decal tweezers for me. Okay. Well, for me, I'm going to come in with the third, and it's a scalpel blade. But this scalpel blade was, um, I actually used when I had my, when I joined the council, and it uh, it, it followed me home. And uh, this, this scalpel blade was bought in 1974. Wow. So, uh, so, so the, the handle, the handle, <laughs> no, not the blade, the handle. Anyway, but I do have other ones, new ones. But uh, yeah, and it's the one I use all the time, just all the time. 
it's the main tool of the modeling, isn't it? Sculpting. I, I, I think so. You can do so much with it, you know. But uh, right. So, second question from uh, Daniel is: uh, apart from the Tamiya XF range, are there any other acrylics you would recommend? He uses Vallejo currently. Lacquers are not an option. Brush paints or airbrush? Good question. Let's answer both. Um, brush paint, life color, airbrush, Mr. Aquas. Mm. My answer. What's paint? <laughs> it's the stuff you get to after the glue and the primer and the stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, no, because I just switched to lacquers. That's all I'll be using from now on. Uh, nope. Well, no, I'm 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 still using the XF range, um, yeah. but I do have a few of the Mister Color ones that I bought from somebody. Sorry, which sorry, I I missed the beginning. Then I was trying to try and catch. I think you said what, what do you use for brush painting? Uh, yeah. Either brush or or airbrush. Brush, I suppose, I'm still staying with mod, Mr. Uh, model colour. Yeah. For that, for brush. He's, yeah, he's using them. He's looking for an alternative. Sorry. Okay. In the alternative, oh, I don't know. Then. Mm. Mm. I don't bad, really like using any of this. Bad minute hair brush, well, but. Uh, yeah, they're not. They're not like an armour or an airplane colour, or you know, unless unless you're doing weird stuff, obviously. But yeah. Is it, I don't like using the Tamirs and Gun and Mr. Hobbies. I don't like I don't like brush painting them. Life colour. Oh, good call. Life yeah, color. I've 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 only ever used those um the rust pigment ones, which are slightly different to the normal paints. Uh but yeah, they do they do brush out very, very well. And they can they can thin down so much. They're not good they're good, not good for airbrushing though, but for brush painting they're wonderful. Oh I like airbrushing life. Well, the, the rust ones I had, I they didn't seem to like being uh, sprayed right. that much, that well. Or it was, I, was, I was trying to thin them too much, maybe. Mm. Quite possible. Have you pushed them to the limit, Timothy? I, I do like to be pushed to the limit, yes. Mm -hmm. Goody, goody. Oh, well, some good answers there. Um, his next question is, oil pin washing, is that the same terminology as using Tamiya panel line, but with oils? Yeah, just using it. That's an enamel oils or oils, both mineral based. Yeah, um, but just slightly different mediums. I uh, mean, you can either thin the oils to make a pin wash, or yeah. you can use the oils and, you know, brush them and uh, fade them in and and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, oils are very versatile. Yeah, absolutely. You can get oil rendering out of it, uh, other filters. Uh, pin washes, um, filters, streaking effects, all sorts of stuff. Arab oils. Daryl, just think of all the questions for next week. <laughs> for, for that one answer. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, a bit of a personal question to Sam. Mm. And he, he says, tell me to flock off or delete, but are you really as accident prone as the group is? Uh -huh. Take on <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah. What yes. what what happened to the thumb and other body parts missing? I've known him for six years, and so far he's been an amateur stuntman by jumping downstairs. <laughs> near, near enough, <laughs> near enough, setting fire to himself. Leprosy, the mange. Yeah. Uh, amateur Diabetes. Dentistry, amateur dentistry. Yeah. Yeah, I did that the other week. Took yeah. a tooth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's, 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 he's leapt down the stairs a couple of times by accident. Yeah. Burnt himself God knows how many times. Oh, at least a dozen, if not more. Yeah. Uh, it was just... really cringy one he told me one day. Sam's got not much feeling in his toes and fingers. That he, he ripped his toenail off. Oh, oh stop, 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 stop. <laughs> and did, and, did, it, and didn't realise till he found it on the floor. Oh, yeah. It's true. You see, yeah. the story is I'm diabetic. I have no sensation from my fingertips to my elbows and from my toes 
top of my toes to my knees. It's all numb. I have no sensation at all. So the, th the thumb happened whenever I went to lift something out of the grill and my thumb stuck to the grill pan. It's hot. And I just pulled it off and the skin and all came off the thumb. Oh. So I took the top of my thumb off. And then the finger was another one that was a that was a burn, another oh, burn. Took the top <laughs> that one's still here. So I've only got fingerprints on six fingers. <laughs> you could say um, fingers and thumbs, but you, you can't. Yeah. The toenail did. I, I, I kicked something and it ripped the toenail off. Oh, and, I didn't know. and because because I'd lost the toenail previously, the bed was dead in my toe, so there was no blood. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I've, I've a lot of other things going on where a lot of metal work on my legs, but that's my problem. Right. <laughs> but I am, I am seriously, even, I don't know how I model. I model with two pair of tweezers because I can't pick anything up. Um, it was one thing, we do get a laugh in here. Don't we like that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's had the mange, leprosy. Oh, the corn and the cob one, you forgot about that. Corn and the cob one was probably one of the most random things in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, well, well, get, Sam got third degree burns off corn and the cob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, oh, you know the belt skewers you put in the end of it when you're eating it. Well, it broke, and I thought, oh bugger! So I just picked it up by the ends, and I was chewing it like an apple. Didn't think, and uh, I went in, washed my hands, came back out, and I went, oh god, third degree burns the two fingers. <laughs> um, I sent Paul a nice picture. Paul was nearly puking. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I had to go back to the hospital, and. Um, that's just said uh, skin's been taken from other places. Oh. But we'll not go into that. Excellent. But yeah, I do have a oh. was, was it a wrinkly area, Sam? Oh, I was about to say, it's yes. lucky he it wasn't circumcised. I've got <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I could have used that bit for a broken elbow. <laughs> 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 But no, uh, it's it's a, it, we do get a laugh. We've got Adidas stripes down the back of my legs, but we'll not go into that either. Yeah. Um, no, I am very accident prone. Seriously, mm -hmm. Victor Meldry's got nothing on me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh dear. But we do take the. Uh, they're they're uh, taking it from the back of your legs. Does that mean you've got hairy fingers on? Yeah. You? <laughs> they took the skin grafts off back of my legs to put. Onto the front of my leg, my left oh, leg. Oh, okay, you're right. <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> it's manky and brown. <laughs> hairy hands, though. Yeah, I'm looking at my arse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so, yes, he's accident prone. Yeah. There you go. That's the answer. So, next mm -hmm. question. Donald says if you'd access to any manufacturer with the Elon Musk funds, what model scale would you commission them to, to card, tool, mold, build, and put in a box, even if it was just for you, rather than general release? I think we're Ooh. looking at unique. 12 what scale you... for TRS 500, 12 scale RS, uh, RS Cosworth, mm -hmm. R2 Escort, Mark 1 Escort, RS 1700T, RS 200, Mexico's, yep. all the Fords just for me. Okay, that would be mod. Twelve. Oh, Tim, you imagine a twelve scale E thirty M three. Oh, oh God, that'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Is is? I don't understand why people haven't done them because they would mm. sell so much. Killing. You would, yeah. Yeah. Telling you. Sell so much. I mean, it only seems there's only one brand out there that will ever touch anything one twelve. Actually, no, there's not any that do really do touch one twelve now, is there? They're just oh. reboxing them. Mm -hmm. I'd also like a six scale Honda RC two eleven. Oh, that'd be oh. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Repsol, wherever. Uh, any of the schemes, but yeah, I'd love that. Anyone else? I would love uh, a either 112th or 19th scale Metro 6R4. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, yep, Tarmac version. I'd like That's one my favorite. Of, uh, I'd like, I'd like uh, the last Interceptor 112th. Ah, nice. What? The last. Oh, uh, my Max. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, that is, yeah that's quite. Or, cool. or, or even just one of the uh, uh, 
the fast pursuit versions and with the yellow and blue, it'd be quite cool as well. Something like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Uh, mine would be a one forty eight scale S sixty four Sky Crane. Mm. One thirty second scale Buccaneer. Please, please oh, bring out one Buccaneer. day. One day yeah. your dream will be alive. Yeah, and a one thirty second scale Picara. Oh. Because that 40 eighth skill one just never got to turn up with it. What about you, Dan? <sighs> I don't know if anybody remembers the film Spaceballs. Yes. Yeah. 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 Can you remember yeah. Lone Star's uh, Wood Davis? Yeah. The RV. Yeah. yeah. I'd like something, you know, yay big, just so as I can sit it there and have just. A grin every time, you know, like sat outside of Darth Vader's helmet. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Lone, Lone Star's Winnebago in, in a very large scale and suit me down to the ground. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That'd be that would you can do it if you bought, you know, a Winnebago and then hacked it up and blah blah blah. But just make a kit of that would be absolutely take my money time. That'd be cool. Can I, can I have another one? A yeah. one twelve scale, um, nineteen sixty seven Ford or Shelby Mustang GT five hundred, the Elmer. Yeah. Don't mention that, Disney yeah. lovers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you screwed us now, Sam. Screwed us now. That's it. Oh, Paul's, getting, Paul's getting the letters in the post already. Yeah, <laughs> quickly, Roger. You need to go sign over to the forum. Then the links are in the description to this video. Go join the forum and ask for advice now to post pictures, and you'll get um, yes. shown the way. Yep. I'll just say though you are missing out not being on Facebook for modeling. It's phenomenal. All right, yeah. uh, who else hasn't answered? Me. Oh. Right now. Well, Norm's already said the one thirty second buccaneer. Um, so I'll I'll go along and uh I I'd yeah, just buccaneer. But if I had a second choice, I would have to say a one thirty second supermarine scimitar. Oh, good choice. Which was which was another one, well, another area, a huge fighter, huge thing um, that was uh, on the carriers and, and and based at Lossy. You'll see a trend here, but anyway, yeah, that would be a supermarine scimitar. I've got one more I could add. Is and yep. it, it could even be 112 scale or 124 scale, a new Ferrari F40. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 A new, a new kit of that with yeah, proper, cool. proper detail and nice kit of that. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Like Sadly, it. the thing is, it's that Ferrari license, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Model Factory Hero have lost it, so yeah. who knows who, who's going to get it next? Who else is going to pay for that? Yeah, but this is a. Uh, I mean, this question is. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. It's a what? It's uh, what's yeah, the word? Yeah, it's a, it, it's a, a hypothetical. Price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Like uh, yeah, it's difficult trying to differentiate between the hypothetical and the feasible. Mm-hmm. So, any others, Al? Uh, questions, you mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, next question from uh, a chap called Daryl Masters is <laughs> Clues. <laughs> Tell me an extra thin range the green, the lime, the white. Can you explain? When you would use the quick setting or the white top stuff? Fairly simple, that one. The white one when you want something to dry a bit slower, you want it to grip a bit more. Mm-hmm. The green, the light green one when you want it to dry quicker. Yeah, on, on small bits. And... Yeah, you can do, yeah. Um, white, white stuff's good for sticking the big areas together. Big yeah, what well, I use white stuff like, uh, I use the white stuff to put the skirt on the Challenger. Because I know it just needs that little bit of purchase, and I know I can't get in there with the extra thin brush. Because by the time you put the extra thin brush in there, and then put the part, it's evaporated and gone. Whereas the white yeah. stays tacky for a bit longer. Um, the the light green quick dry I don't tend to use because I mix mine fifty fifty with um, EMA Plasti Weld. Mine it's really hot and dries quick anyway. Um, but yeah, that's it. One, one for you want slower dry, and one for you want quicker. That's the way I use it. Anybody else any different? No, I'm the same as you. Big parts that use the white stuff. Mm-hmm. I've been using yeah. quite a lot of the plastic weld lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I love it. I really do like it. 
Oh, you mean the deluxe materials? Yeah. Uh, very, very good. Plastic magic. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. That's nice hot glue as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's nice stuff. Mm. Okay, okay. And then uh, Dan slips in with a quick question, breaking up Daryl Masters' uh, run there. He says, we've all seen Paul's massive stash. Mm. I haven't got that big a stash. Yeah, moustache, no. I've only got big... 110 kits. It's <laughs> <laughs> not that many. Oh, that's true. Yeah, oh. that's all of the one type, though. So. Um, how big are the stashes of the rest of the crew, and Ooh. what do they consist yeah. of? Go on, Al. You go first. Me first? Well, uh, my I think I have 53, sorry, 54 in my stash now and uh, they're all aircraft except for one car one tank and the Revel PT-109 Ooh. aircraft right sorry I missed I missed the question what's the question yeah I get booted <laughs> uh, be how big's your stash and what they consist of. I don't want to oh. cover uh, yeah, I, I got kicked out there. <laughs> I actually updated mine the other day. Let me have a quick double check what it says now. Top variant. Yeah, my stash is not big. I'm about 110. No. Mm-hmm. It's not all that big. It is mine. Mine's, oh, well, yeah, right. A thousand kids. Yeah. Yeah, and the one house. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> only the Norm's house, and then. Yeah. yeah. Then that warehouse full that he's what, got. Why do you think he's friends with his neighbour? Well, everybody's seen that end, that, that end um, scene of Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark with the warehouse. That's, <laughs> what, that's, that's what Norm's one. got. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, anyone else? I don't think I've got a, a hundred kits. Even. Doubt it. Not even. Because I sold a lot of cars. I've got armor up the stairs and I've got cars up the stairs, but I don't know what. In fact, I'd probably be hitting at about 50 kits if I'm lucky. Yeah, so I've got, I, I says mine says 121 full kits, and I've got to say at least 10 of them before you restarted. Uh, I'll just say well above mm-hmm. a thousand. <laughs> Mixture of aircraft, helicopters, and armor. What one, two motorbikes, and one car. I don't know what the car is. Mm-hmm. Don't know. I've got two cars because I bought that Lotus seventy nine of you, didn't I? Yeah. Two cars, but I'm well above. Well. Uh, yeah, I'll just say well above a thousand. Wow. So Daryl kicks in again. Uh, Adding a question on the back of uh, Dan's one, which uh, um, of your kit stash, what percentage is for keeping versus building due to the rarity? Uh, all, 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 all mine to be built. Yeah, yeah. All, I, I, I do own a few rarities and um, I, I, I did contemplate and I did announce that I might start one, but and then I bottled it and built something completely different. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, I have a few rarities and they will possibly get built. Maybe not, you know, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day soon. Little like hobo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. None of mine are for keeping. Uh, or, build, or building. Or building. <laughs> Three boxes are doing good, yeah. No, I believe if you buy a kit and you, you think you build it, that's what it's meant to design for. Well, the so, kits I have left, I'm going to rebuild them. I wouldn't know if I had a rare kit in my stash. I've got a few. I mean, I've got a, a Protoss bit for a uh, speedway back there. Oh, that is rare. Yeah. I've only ever seen one other one of those. But as I said, uh, like I said, you, I'm never, like I say, I'm never ever going to build them. Never in the creation of God will I ever build them. But 
they're an investment for my sons for yeah. anything for me, and they can do with the lineup with them after that. Um, okay. Anyone else? No. Okay. Next yeah. question from Next question from Daryl is: Apart from reference photos, are there any other kit builders you might look at outside of the team to draw your thoughts or processes from, etc.? Uh, if I need any ideas, I'll just look on YouTube normally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have a Google, see what there is. Don't use other people's models as reference, though. Find your own reference. Yeah. yeah. Just about to say that. I yeah. think the, uh, the suggestion by Luke the other week of find yourself a photograph, yeah. get it, use it as a reference, and build to that. Yeah. Problem is, if you go to reference someone else's model and you complete your model, and it doesn't look as good as theirs. That's the wrong thing to do. Yeah. No, totally wrong thing to do. Your model's built for you, not somebody else's reference. Absolutely. It's your model. Do what you want. Exactly. That's why I've okay. got the window open. Most times <laughs> when I'm working. Yeah. That... I'll, 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 I've got... You're enjoying not to impress others. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's all about the enjoyment in the build. Mm -hmm. So, anything else though? Um, there's just the one that was in the uh, chat oh, earlier yeah. on from Jeffrey Holmes, which is model related. If you are starting out in lockdown for the first time, what's the one kit you will all have liked to have had in your stash at the very start? Mm. And the one I've enjoyed the most is that little 48 scale challenger. Uh, Abrams, me and Sam did. Oh, that was cracking, that little thing. Great little kit. Really enjoyed building yep. that. Nice, quick, Thanks easy build. Me. Came out well, yeah, for me. Lovely little kit. Yeah, that'd be the one I'd choose. Mm -hmm. uh, I pretty much had the kits already. Well, I yeah, them. I did. Too. <laughs> that was yeah. one I enjoyed the most. Uh, I, I have a plethora of uh, very nice it is. See, what I've enjoyed, well, I'll say enjoyed. I learned 3D printing and a little bit of CAD. Um, I'm still not crash out at it, but I'm better than I were at the beginning of the lockdown, let's say that. And that's, yeah. I've enjoyed, as weird as it is, I've never liked school, but I've enjoyed learning uh, something new, let's say. You know, it's 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 been a very, very, like that sort of steep of a learning curve. But yeah, it's been very, very interesting and Stressful at times, head banging at other times, and you know, nine out of ten times you'll have a failure. Let's say that, <laughs> <laughs> but it's been very, very en enjoyable wasting Good. money instead of throwing it down the road. From what there I've you seen, you're definitely getting there, Matt. Don't worry. Well, it, it's but down the road, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took from the beginning of March to focus that beam to the point where I'm getting more quality prints than failures now. Let's say that as well. That's good, mate. That's very yeah. good. Uh, anyone else? Well, for me, um, I would have to say for quite some time I've been after uh, this thing. Mm. And if I had one to choose from, it would have been that. And, uh, Fantastic. Just a public thanks to the, the boys in the birthday group for the presses. Very Are welcome, you? Al. Yeah. I just realised, I did have something to show. I had the phone holder from you, Dan. Ah. I just put my phone in it and I was like, damn. I'll show it next week. Show it next week. There you go. Um, no else? What well, you're, you're asking, uh, what, have you all got kits in the stash? What, what, are, kid, uh, what kid would you, if we had to go through the lockdown again, what kit would you want at the beginning? Right at the start. To, to build, you mean? I think so, yeah. Um, what kit would I want? I would quite like to... I, I quite enjoyed that T-34. That's been yeah. good fun to build. I'd quite like to have done another one of those uh, Edward MiG-21s. Yeah, they were a good kit. I quite they? enjoyed doing yeah. that. Yeah, Never finished mine, but it was a good kit. Nice little kit, that. Very nice. Yeah, yeah so, so I'm, I I had to I missed I missed sort of talking when you're saying about kits uh, special kits in the stash. And yeah, I suppose that you do you do buy rare kits, but you I always you always buy them in the idea that you're going to build them. I don't mm. think I've ever bought a kit 
to just for it to sit in there and to never no, build it. No, I always no, plan to build no, it. No. Whether you ever actually get to the point of building it is very different because that you get other things come along and blah, blah, anyway, anyway. But I always buy them in the idea that, yeah, I'm going to build that. And even if it, it doesn't matter how rare it is, I always still, was, I've, I've got one of those wing nuts gophers. It's as rare as hell. Definitely yeah. still want to build it though. I, I've got a stingray kit over there that I got off Adam. And yeah, try and find one of them in England. <laughs> yeah. You, you still want to build it though? I'm going to build it. Oh, it'll get built and butchered and lit up, maybe. <laughs> On fire. Brilliant. <laughs> maybe not fire, but definitely lit up. Oh, that's out uh, the park, that is. <laughs> is that the end of the questions, Al? Yeah, that's uh, that's a very last question. Thanks, Daryl and Dan. Nice yeah, he kept us <laughs> plenty of questions, Daryl. <laughs> yep. My God. Um, right, we've got a giveaway to do, and that's it. Uh, we're all done. Okay. Right, Josh, share this first. Yeah, but... you get your time on. Uh, Norm and I'll uh, give it. So we're going to do a giveaway now. You can win a £20 UMP gift voucher. All you've got to do is wait for Tim to put start, start your numbers now. Uh, Norman's going to put a five minute timer on screen. There it is. There it is. I'm going to take us off. Hang on. How do I do this? Give me a sec. No, we're going to have to look at the timer. You want me to stop showing first? No, no, that's no, all right. I can't. Uh... I can only stop you sharing. That's weird. Hang on. How did we do this last time then? Must have kept it on screen. Oh well. Um, so yeah, no one's going to press timer up as you can see. You're going to get five minutes. You get to pick one number. I repeat, one number from one to a thousand. After the five minutes are up, we do a live random number generator, and the closest person to that number wins a £20 UMP gift voucher. Simple, easy. Just make sure you just do one number uh, anymore and you will get disqualified. So, uh, yes. Hang on, Sky Shark. You're jumping the gun there, bud. Um, when you're ready, Norman, Tim? Ready, Tim? Yeah, yeah. And we will begin in three, two, one. Start your numbers. Oh. <laughs> Can I have three from the top and four from the bottom there? Uh -huh. <laughs> Are eating your finger snow numbers? It's <laughs> <laughs> acting, that is. Oh, dear. <laughs> like, they just look for the word star. That's all they're looking for. Yeah. I could write well, anything off there. They're not even looking for that. What they're looking for is, is your name highlighted in blue. That's it. That's all they're looking for, Timbo. <laughs> I could write, how many fingers would it take Actually, you better not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> there's, there, there's a few names in the chat there. We've not seen so How many grapes? Nice. How many grapes could you fit in? Yeah, move on. Um... <laughs> this has got car crash road to all right, Timothy. Ping pong. No, can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, ping not... pong? Oh, dear. <laughs> I was talking to uh, my brother-in-law earlier, and he watched last week's. Oh, yeah. And he says that we're, we're, we're now hitting the peak of where we need to be with this Zoom. You know, because obviously we've, we've you know, gone from uh, through a lot of hosting platforms, let's say, and this one seems to be the best one we've used so far. Oh, that's Good. fantastic. So is that your dad we're talking about? Yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, that's my dad too. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> what is the sister's surname? Hey, what? Oh, oh, and his sister's surname. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, it might be my wife, maybe. <laughs> three minutes, folks. You got three minutes. What's your oh, wife's surname? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what I just said. To oh. Oh, I do. Sometimes I do love a good conversation in here. It makes no sense, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the poo that's spouted, eh? Oh, dear. Especially when it's late at night and Timothy's had a little more to do. I haven't done anything. I've hey. got the wrong. There wasn't much wrong. Laddered? Not much. Not much yet.
Oh dear. I can feel Mr. Sandman's being and throwing a bucket full of sand in my face. I'll You're very busy, Dan. I'll push past that, Dan. Oh, it's been it's don't get me wrong, I like it when we're busy. But also yeah. I like it when we're not as busy, let's say. Yeah. Every day, I'm guaranteed now, every day we'll get 10 more jobs per day to either just go and put up of, you know, walking blind, so to speak, or we've got to try and look at him either through the week or then that's what my weekends is filled with, is walking around people's houses and not inside, obviously. And I look yeah. like a burglar is what I look like. Are you mask on? <laughs> Going around with a mask on? I've always got a mask on, Tim. Yeah. I've got to keep this beautiful face beautiful, Anna. So yeah. it looks like Dick Turpin doing that scam. <laughs> I felt like it today when I asked somebody for some money, and they went, "What? What? That scaffolding up, son? So you know, get some shekels out across my palm." You don't do this for nothing, sister. Well, we've had uh, we've had an extra scaffolding this week, and yes, he's a very good scaffolder, but he's also quite expensive. Let's say. Mm. One minute, folks. You got one minute. But you know, for quality, you've got to pay sometimes, aren't you? And the wages bill this week went up um, considerably. He, he earned close to what I earned. I was about to say, can we, can we, can we read past your waffle and put it down as that he's your replacement as you are now ground ground? Um, <gasps> do you know what, Timothy? I've worked on him for this last week. And I need him to say yes to signing one of our contracts and resigning from his current work. But well, that will cost a significant amount of Wonga, let's say. Well, to, to get yeah. him to move over. Yes, I am. I am. That's my aim is to get him in and for me to be a ground rat or base plate. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. what happens when you're the boss. Cool. Oh. Well, I've put spanners on in the last five weeks. I've put spanners on for... Four, Count down, down in three, two, two, one. Stop numbers. Ding, ding, ding. We all done? There we go. Oh, why is it they wait till the last second to put numbers in? I know, it's crazy. And even even I was late. I, I would literally wait until the end of the ring to hit stop. Yeah. <laughs> right, is that sharing? It certainly is. Yep. Right, yep. okay, so we've got Google random number generator that we always use. Ignore the 10 that was already there. Going to click this one, so once only, that will be our winning number. As always, if two people pick the same number, the first person who picked it automatically wins. As always, if you think there is one, please don't shout out in the chat because we have had the wrong name shouted out before. These guys will check it. I want to know the winner. Tim will announce the winner. So good luck, everyone. The winning number for the £20 UP gift voucher is... 300. Oh, round number. Round numbers. I'm Spartacus. I'm, I, I was closest. <laughs> 300 <laughs> it is. There we go. Yes, you, you, you're going to be a full-on ground rat then. Uh, that's my aim, Timothy, yes. Not I am bad getting, idea, dude. I am getting too broken. I'm 44 <laughs> next, and it's getting quite difficult climbing these days, let's say, with a bit of extra timber on board. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just quickly, make sure you check out UMP Retail, everyone. Obviously, uh, Ryan and Lee's business. So we've got a full restock today of all our airbrushes. We've got some of our primers in stock and a new pink primer in stock as well. Uh, so www.umpretail.com. The link is in the description down below. Check out the forum and Facebook page, uh, International Scale Model. Again, they are down below. Make sure you sub to this channel. Click the bell notification, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you're watching uh, back later on. Uh, loads of content on the channel. There'll be another challenger video up maybe tomorrow or Sunday, um, and a bench update in the next few days as well. Uh, check out my Paul ISM modeling page uh, over on Facebook, uh, and I'll have the bench page and the offer hangout group to join us. Offer, um, yeah, that's it. And if you're around tomorrow, a few, well, definitely me and Sam, I think. Yeah. Uh, we'll be here from about half nine in the morning. We'll be live over on Facebook, uh, on my Paul ISM page, and in Sasha Scale Modeler. I'll share it to both. The links to those are in the description down below. So you're around 9.30 a.m. UK time. Uh, we got a lot of the Aussies and late-night Americans on there and a few UK people. Uh, pop on over for an hour or two and have a bit of a chit-chat with us on there. We're going to try and make it a regular thing every week. 
Um, and we'll see you all there. Yeah, have a good crack. Yeah, hopefully it will. Oh, oh this one all pops up for you in the chat. Let's have a look. I've not seen that one. <laughs> That's like, get off! Yeah, the above will be the other one. Stop it. No. Stop it. What are you doing, Tim? Just being generally annoying. Oh. Cat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just constantly. Ooh, someone, oh, someone. Oh, just someone that, um, Yeah, I can see that. Hang on a minute. I'm, I'm I can that. hear it. Not <laughs> <laughs> <Is that> me. <laughs> yep, I concur with everybody else. Ignore what I put. Hang on, I'm, I'm looking down. Oh, I'm trying to find. I, I've done a Timothy. Hey. I'm tired. Oh I'm yeah, up. yeah. There you are. There I've it is. Up, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. I'm really, really cream crackered. Is what we I forgive am. you. I'm with, I'm with you, mate. And I haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to put spanners around my waist today because, yeah, I lost a bet and yeah, I had to prove a point that I could still climb three lifts quite quickly. Uh, I, I might kill my scent to get to the top, but yes, I'm I'm not doing it again. Put it that way. <laughs> do, do we have a wiener? Yes, we yes, do. We so tonight, the random number that was drawn by Paul using the Google random number generator. Was the okay. number three hundred? Oh, tidy, see, bud. Uh, now, <laughs> how, did you, how did you go from black country to Welsh? Oh, it's the ability <laughs> I have for. That was phenomenal. I travel the country just, far and wide. It's a natural wow. ability, isn't it, Tim? Yeah. yeah, not far. Is it? It's, it's no, not far, not far at all. Uh, now, <laughs> um, we, the closest number that was uh, guessed by someone down the list was two hundred eighty-five. Now we did have two people. That did put that number in, but the first person to pick oh. that number was Malcolm Plum. Oh, well done, Malcolm. Two, two, eight, well, five, well, done. well done, Malcolm. Um, nice one. There's an email in the description of the video, uh, isamprizeclaim at gmail.com. If you email me on that, Malcolm, with the email address you use over on UMP, and make sure you've got your allow marketing ticket. I think Malcolm had one before, I can't remember. If you email that over to me, I will get that sorted probably Monday for you. Um, well done. So there we are. Yep, well done. Congrats. Well done, well done. Very well done. So like I say, if you're around tomorrow, we'll be live on Facebook, not YouTube, Facebook. So you need to be on Facebook to see it, unfortunately. Um, pop over and say hello and keep an eye out some videos from me. And uh, you might get a review off Tim one day, you never know. Oh, hello. Yes, Landon. He's on there. I don't know. He hasn't done any recently. No, I'm joking. Um, and that's it. <laughs> so we will see you all next Friday. Uh, stay safe. Hope everyone has a good week. And uh, we shall catch you all later. So bye, everyone. Later, people. Bye. 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 bye.